Yo, Twitch chat, what's up? Ah, sorry for the long starting soon there. I, uh, my internet DC'd literally as I was starting the stream, but only on this PC, and now it won't connect to Battle.net, so that's just great. I, I don't know what to do. I'm so annoyed. But hey, everybody, what's up? Happy, uh, happy Tuesday. I hope this continues to work. Uh, like, I, Battle.net, like, it just is connecting and nothing changes. It's, I've had this happen before where you, you can't get Battle.net to convince itself that it's online again. Even if you're online again, it, it just doesn't know. It's like, it won't check. It's like, nah, man. Oh, never mind. The, the this PC just dropped again. You're kidding me, dude. Dude. I think you guys can see me fine. It's this. I'm on two PCs, you know, stream over here, computer over here with, with Hearthstone and stuff. It, it just dropped again. You're actually kidding me right now. What is happening? Okay, I think we're back. Is Battle.net back? No, Battle.net's not back. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I love when the internet's garbage. Uh, I mean, we're not really going to play. Oh, it's I think it's working. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to play that much Hearthstone anyway, because this um, this is happening here in like 10 minutes. The live stream reveal. Tune in May 3rd at 10 a.m. Pacific for the live stream reveal. This is uh, the new. All we know is it's a new Warcraft mobile game. Rumors are it's sort of a like Clash of Clans thing. Sort of a Clash of Clans style game. But that's just a rumor. We don't know for sure what that even really means. I actually played Clash of Clans this weekend to prepare myself. I installed it for the first time in my life so that I would have some sort of idea what Clash of Clans was all about. Never say I didn't work. I don't put in the work for you guys. Oh my God, this this PC's internet just dropped again. You're actually joking. I, I, I don't understand. What is happening? I may need to reboot this entire PC, guys. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it one more time. I'm going to need to be able to watch this, though, with the internet, obviously. I'm going to need to be able to play Hearthstone with the internet, obviously. So, we'll see. Give it one more try. It's almost like, this may sound crazy, but it's almost like every time I log into Battle.net, it DCs me. Probably just a coincidence, because that's weird, but that's kind of what it's feeling like. We'll try again. Uh, hey, Drasmus dude with the Prime sub. Katy Page dropped a 13-monther as well. Sorry, I didn't see all these. I was kind of not having Twitch up. Chip Chopperson with 19 months. Incredible. Chip Chopperson, thank you. Anything's possible under the sea. Okay. Who knows what treasure you'll Let's find. everybody say a little prayer for my internet, okay? Oh, oh. Oh. It didn't even finish loading Hearthstone. Is this a bad thing? I don't know what this means. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually about to drop again. Yeah. What the actual F? <laughs> I don't understand. I guess I need to reboot this PC, guys. I don't know. Give me, give me a second. I'm just gonna restart this whole PC. Something's going on with the wireless adapter, maybe. I don't know. Something's going on with this PC and the router. I don't know. Let's just reboot the whole dang thing. Gonna have to re-upload that. Remind me for that. Uh. But we'll just hang out. 
we'll just chat. It's fine. I love when these things happen after you go live. Like, <laughs> like never anything goes wrong beforehand. I'm rebooting though. If that doesn't fix it, uh, so be it. We're screwed. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We can go back to an old school one PC stream maybe, but I haven't done that in forever. Literally forever. <laughs> what did I eat for breakfast? Leftover pizza. I told you guys I was getting pizza yesterday and I ate leftover pizza. We went to a pizza place. We haven't been to it in a long time. It's like kind of the more like uh, the pizza place we normally go to is sort of the more like fancy pizza. It's not exactly fancy pizza, but a little bit fancier. Um, this place is like the greasy pizza place, though. But the fancy pizza place is only open on Thursday through Saturday or Sunday or something. So we didn't have a choice. If we wanted pizza, it had to be here. All right, so I rebooted. Let's get Discord up. Let's get all my normal stuff up. <laughs> Let's get Hearthstone up. Then I'll get you guys rolling here as well. I'm hoping that made the difference. I don't know. Thank you, Chrome, for saving my tabs. That's very nice of you. Do, do, do. Oh, it's good to see you again. Oh, whoa. Uh, okay. This is apparently already up on mobile. Oh, you guys can't. Whoops, I'm on the screen turned on. Uh, there you go. So this is apparently already up on uh, Garrett from uh, from the World of Hearthstone just posted this Warcraft Arclight Rumble, a Warcraft strategy experience. Build a team of legendary heroes, command your troops, fight familiar foes. This is Clash Royale. It looks more like Clash Royale than Clash of Clans. Yeah, I, I heard people say Clash of Clans. But this looks more like Clash Royale. For those who don't know the difference. Actually, Clash Royale is, to my mind, a much better. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I enjoy the game more. I don't know if it's better or not. Uh, Clash Royale is like more. I don't know how to describe it, like action RTS card tower defense. Clash of Clans is more like long term RTS. Um, I don't know how to. <laughs> God, they both have. Um, I don't know. They, they, you know, they both have their own flaws and stuff. I don't particularly love the look of this from an art style standpoint just yet. I mean, I need to see an action maybe. Like these screens don't look especially awesome yet. Makes me a little nervous. Hero leveling up too is tended to be something that is bundled with uh, predatory monetization. Kind of like what we saw with mercenaries. I mean, mercenaries isn't exactly monetization gated so much as time gated horrendously but it does look aggressively mobile yeah very mobile i was hoping that it would have a bit of a uh i don't know could be fake apparently it's on the play store this comes from a trusted source i don't know yeah we're gonna watch it here two minutes anyway so uh speaking of which where did that tab go there it is uh, we're gonna watch it in two minutes, so we'll see. Ah, premieres in 60 seconds. Okay. How do I... Oh, that's the same logo, so that's definitely not fake. <laughs> it's absolutely the same logo. Um... 
Yeah, I, I was hoping the art style, like, I understand you need mobile games to have an art style that is, like, a little more on the cartoony side and, like, a little more accessible and stuff. But I was still hoping for... I, like, can you not shrink this chat? I just don't, I can't moderate this chat. How do you, oh, hi, chat, there we go. Look at this, these videos look good. I don't know about this video. I'm not really sure about this video, but these videos look really good. I don't know what it is about these five videos in particular, but something about those look really appetizing. Oh, here's another one looks good. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. <laughs> that looks funny. <laughs> that doesn't look quite so good. Uh, can I start this nonsense? So just to give you guys an idea of what's happening, as you can see above me, actually, I should probably move myself to the right here. Also, I thought I hid chat. I don't know why I can't make this bigger until it starts playing either. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Is aggressively loud to me. I don't know about you guys. Seems like it's loud enough. The most generic music. Oh, this is literally generic music. This is the YouTube. This is YouTube's uh, thing. This is not the workout thing. So, okay, to give everybody a heads up on where we're at. Remind me to set this back to negative five, guys. It's too loud. Face cam bigger. It is bigger when it's on this side. Uh, God, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause this. I gotta. I gotta fix this. Hold up. It's so loud on my end too, which I. I can't actually. Th this headset's not working right now. I can't change the audio here live. I got a weird. Oh, actually, hold up. I can do this. Hold up. That should do it. And does that make it quieter for you guys or not? Let's see. No. It also did nothing for me, so that's great. Oh my god, this is just so aggressively loud to me. Alright, I wanted to tee this up, but I guess I'll just do it afterwards. Uh, I guess I'll just do it afterwards. Here we go! Blizzard Entertainment presents... Oh my god, they're toys. I do love toys. I'll be honest. I'm a sucker for action figures. Incredible articulation on these action figures, man. Warcraft Arc Light Arc Light Rumble. Hi, I'm Justine, and I'm Adam, and today we have. Hey, the Adam and Justine. You to Warcraft, Warcraft Arc Light Rumble. Rumble. We're very excited. So, what is this game? What is this game? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that, including the fumbles. This is Clash Royale. And villain collector. And villain collector game that has a vast PVE campaign. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft game from Blizzard. We love games. Raids? We're super inspired by tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. 
and we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. I love this, like, instead of, like, of taverns, the Hearthstone Tavern board, it's like an arcade. A machine has been found. Is it new? Has it always been there? Powered by gnomish engineering and arc light. This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. So there's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, Clash Royale. your run is over. Also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're gonna come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture that lets you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You gotta get the shiny. Give me the shiny. Shiny. The more gold that you can get, the more chaos you can reign upon the field. I actually like this better seeing it in action, to be honest. It's still not my favorite art style, but... has their own personality, and every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. And they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. There's also the Horde! the proud horde that will overpower your enemies. Heed my call! But there's also Black Rock to sear a hole mm. in your enemy's defenses. Let's oh, I just down. wish the art style was like a little there's less... A, undead. a little less cartoony. I wish it was just like 20% less cartoony for my taste, you know? And beasts. It's we'll like... Have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. It's... 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 Ah. it's with all of the chaos Just a hair too far. Troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style that suits you. If you want to play Siege units, go for Sneed. Sneed! Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your Siege units grab extra gold. My personal favorite is Ren. With his ability Black in the Sky, it makes all of your flying units one gold cheaper so you can fill the air with chaos. Chaos. But like the style a little more There's serious, yeah. That you can with this. I mean, I can get over it if the gameplay and monetization are good, perhaps, but... to have an understanding of Warcraft to be able to embrace the chaos. Yes! A sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. Speaking of wonder, let's go play a game. We're gonna do it live. I mean, it'll be edited later, but that's okay. Welcome to Jinrok's Swole Troll Isle. A live, sorta. Of strength! This is a fun map because I did the design for it and Justine did the art. We'd have our animators and our character artists to make all this happen. There's so many people that go into making this a reality. After mercenaries, I don't have faith in the executives. Yeah, that'll always be a risk, I think. Smash that start button. Let's go. Okay. Here comes a troll. He's coming down our lane. And the first thing we're going to do is have some harpies go say hello. There's a kobold that's already trying to steal gold over there. We're going to let him go. So this plays that. very much like Clash Royale. You're coming. deploying you units, huntress. you know. Let's play a huntress to help this out a little bit. And here comes another swole troll. Let's send out some But this is more to like uh, PvE. I don't remember Clash having a PvE component when I played it. It was I'm more PvP, which I'm sure this will also have PvP components. <laughs> I'm sure they said that and I forgot already. <laughs> You designed this map. Smash that start button. Let's go. All right. Here comes the swole troll. I got to say, by the way, this feels like a very well executed reveal compared to what we remember from Mercenaries, where it felt like I didn't know anything that was going on. definitely needs to get out of here. Stay shiny. That was actually good. All right. Uh, that was good. That was clever. Our harpy addiction. All right. Good. Have those chickens come in and peck that swole troll just like it's a snack. Oh my gosh, look at all of these units coming in here. Dude, I like those chickens. That actually looks pretty fun. I'm not excited for this, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, I will too, of course. There you go. Oh, we're in overtime. All right. Down to the wire. Harpies, come on. Time's running out. Too close. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a wombo combo. Brilliant. We saw that in the trailer. That's just one of the 70 plus maps that we have to play all over Azeroth. One of my favorite maps is going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle, is Gurubashi Arena. King Mukla is there with his Mukla! Trucks and Banandalia 
And there's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some. I kind of dig that it looks like there's sort of like positional implications of how you're deploying and everything. They seem like actual boss mechanics. Like he had AOE sweeps and. Tasty base. There's always going to be unique challenges depending on each map. When it comes to maps that require you to be able to take charge of the high ground or combat massive cannon bombardment. I mean, in a lot of ways, this looks like what mercenaries. The fantasy that mercenaries tends to deliver on. Mayav has a really awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you play her on the map, she will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make oh. a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. Cool. Warcraft. 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 I mean, <laughs> listen, so they are they are very all in on this. I respect that. I can never pull off that a level of we commitment. Didn't we didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, you can as well. We didn't talk about co-op. We forgot to talk about co-op. Co-op, you can join a guild. You can play with your friends. You can join a guild and you can fight your friends. Fight, fight, fight. You can go play raids with them. There's so many things. Oh, to man. On Nixia Raid. Talk about raids. You're just going to have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Closed beta is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. Soon. On behalf of the team, we are so excited for you guys to get your hands on this, and we really, really look forward to your feedback and input. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos, it never ends. It's Clash of Clans. It's actually chaos. Clash Royale, but I like... It seems like one that's far more in depth with a bigger PVE focus. I don't I don't remember playing any PV, PVE in Clash of Clans. There may have been, but I don't think I experienced it. Or uh, Clash Royale, excuse me. Clash Royale. Is this just the same trailer or Jaina? Oh, good song. Oh, I am going to get DMCA'd, maybe. You might be right. <laughs> yeah, I may have to. I may have to mute for the song, guys. I didn't think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good thought. Thank you. Heads up. I never play music, so this is what I think about. What's the plan? I can selectively mute it in YouTube. That's no problem. But on Twitch. Yeah, we can't, we can't have the chords in particular. Let's let's just mute and see. This is getting really laggy, too. I don't know why. Am I DCing? No. Is the song over, dude? Nope. <laughs> Pre-register now at warcraftrumble.blizzard.com. Okay. Um. All right. That seems like the end of the video. Yeah. Oh, that's a great video. You guys should all go watch that video. Whoever made that video seems like a genius. Uh, Warcraft Arclight Rumble. There's a cinematic trailer. Here's the YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, here's the website. All right. Cool. So let's talk about this a little bit. I'm gonna pull you guys up. Um, uh, let's let's move me over here. Do I have? Here we go. I'm real fancy here. Uh, oh no, actually I can be over here, but you guys will be over there. Hold up. Let's fix this real quick. Uh, professional streamer. Professional streamer. There you are, guys. Woo! Welcome. So let's talk about this a little bit. Um, I guess first off, what did you guys think? What did you guys think? I I gotta say, like, here's here's my first take, right? Uh, art style too cartoony for me. Personal preference, and it's not that it's like poorly executed or anything necessarily. Just not an art style that I care for. It it it, it gives it, you know, that sort of stereotypical mobile feel which is going to, I think, make a lot of people immediately dismiss it. In fact, I'm sure many of you have already based on the like look of it alone, because some people want like a very serious, um, you know, I'm I'm awesome and tough and I like, you know, 
adult fantasy, which is fine, by the way. Oh, chat is on both sides of the screen. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for the heads up. So, you know, that's fine. Like, some people think Hearthstone's art style is already too cartoony, right? And I, I think Hearthstone hits pretty much a nice sweet spot for me. Like, a little bit fun, a little bit irreverent, but still has some, some more, you know, cool fantasy stuff. So, uh, the art style is probably a miss for me. But I have to say... The gameplay pleasantly surprised me. Clash Royale is a game that has a lot of monetization issues, but I actually thought Clash Royale's gameplay was always pretty fun. Like the PvP aspect of deploying your teams was great. The the worst parts of Clash Royale were the progression for me when I I mean it's been probably 5 years since I played it or something, I don't know, 3 4 years. It was progression and monetization. So basically, uh the fact that your heroes leveled up or your squads, your cards, your units, whatever, you had to kind of level them up over time, and you would have mismatched PvP experiences where you'd play people with just legitimately higher level units, and then that would feel kind of unfair, which of course would encourage you to go down the spending loop, and that part of it sucked. But if all things were equal, I thought the gameplay was kind of fun. It's this sort of tower defense slash, um, I don't know, tower offense <laughs> kind of game, which had some, some neat implications. I thought there were some real strategic upsides. And this seems to be delivering on that aspect of Clash Royale, but also has a nice PvE component. It seemed like some of those raid bosses had legitimate mechanics and such. And, you know, Mercenaries in Hearthstone is the same sort of, I'm going to build a team of stuff, I'm going to go down this PvE experience, and I'm going to try to fight the boss. But the, the Mercenaries gameplay is pretty simplistic in the, in the end of the day. This has a lot more going on, it seems like, and you know, a little bit more kind of action or live as opposed to the kind of strategic turn-based world of Mercenaries. So that is actually sort of promising. I liked that, and I'm sure there will also be a PvP component. Yes, PvE and PvP. So that's intriguing. I just, the art style is just really, it's just really, ugh. it's just, it's just too cartoony. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, people will like it. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. Again, it's, it's well executed, right? It's, it, it's a well done version of this kind of art style. The kind of, I, it actually, what it reminds me of is like, um, uh, <sighs> What are those, uh, like, Mega Blocks, almost? You know, like, Mega Blocks characters? Uh, like, like Mega Blocks version of Lego, you know what I mean? I wish it was Lego instead of Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks is, like, the big, chunky blocks instead of the Lego, which, you know, has a little bit more fidelity and, like, smaller kind of stuff. Is that, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm coming from an action figure slash toy background, so I don't know. Whatever the case. Um... Duplo versus Lego 2 is, yeah, that's another good example. Yeah, Duplo. Lego Duplo. Um, so, yeah, I was expecting Clash of Clans based on what people said, but this is definitely a little bit more Clash Royale. So it sounds like some of you are intrigued by the gameplay. Some of you like the art style fine. A lot of you don't. Going for a younger market. Yeah, not only younger market, actually. I think, surprisingly, an older market also finds this art style far more acceptable. Think like 49 year old mom, right? Like she will play this as opposed to like, you know, if it looks too edgy and, and cool and super fantasy, right? They'll kind of be turned off. So both potentially younger, but also actually potentially much older as well. We fall in that gap where we want it to be uh, maybe a little bit more, more in the middle. So I'm not going to go through this full website right now. I probably will go through this for a video in more detail or different components like this. Actually, like this, this looks pretty cool. Honestly, like I don't hate this. This uh, I guess this is Tyrion. I don't or uh, yeah, Tyrion. I don't hate this Tyrion. He looks kind of cool on his own, but like in game, I guess they look a little more cartoony and like, bow, 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 bow. I'm going to try to get in and play this anyway. Yeah, like, Carrie, that, that's a good reminder is that they're supposed to be toys like that. You know, that's the sort of contextual explanation. 
which it, it again i think it's well executed within that context it's just that some people will still want it to look more cool but you know if you're on your phone it's not like you're looking for like crazy high quality graphics anyway you know so it is for that scale and it does not seem like this is pc focused at all of course it's all vertical gameplay that's gonna feel weird on pc right um unlike diablo immortal for instance so seems like they're not even thinking about the pc audience for this so they don't have to sort of accommodate that side of the world um they have plastic in azeroth yeah <laughs> funko pops fighting yeah 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 i don't know i i'm like sort of intrigued i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna give it a good faith effort the the things that will make me not play this um are number one i guess whether it's fun or not obviously like is, is it gonna be fun i think that it looks like there's potential for fun but what i'm probably gonna be turned off by if i had to guess which is always the case for mobile games is monetization and progression if the monetization and progression aren't friendly and i feel like i either have to spend a crap ton of money or spend a crap ton of time in order to make any legitimate progression in this game then that's gonna make me go away like, I just, you know, I, I can't do that. I will happily spend, uh, you know, 20 bucks, 30, 40, 50 bucks on a game if I feel like I'm getting value out of it. But if they start demanding more or they start time gating me, that's going to push me away. But I guess we won't see that yet. Things like this make me really nervous, right? Level up your army and collect Warcraft minis. This has that sort of hero grinder feel of a game like Mercenaries or many of those others, Raid Shadow Legends, Marvel Strike Force, etc., Clash Royale, actually another example that did that. So that makes me a little bit nervous. This right here makes me a lot of nervous too. This is some sort of, you know, I don't know. This just, it's a big pile of coins, right? So that makes me nervous. Um, but it, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna condemn it too soon. We'll see, but like see level 12, level 10 you know upgrade button these sorts of things only one currency showing that's kind of a good sign maybe because that of course is one of our biggest issues with um mercenaries is all the different currencies you needed but we don't know perhaps there's some other currency demanded to upgrade these but i'm gonna i'm gonna take a deeper dive in all this stuff for a, for like a dedicated video i just wanted to do a a quick preview video to learn what we could which is this video. Let you guys give your first takes. <laughs> there was another currency in the video. Okay, I'll double check all that. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't think it's really probably a game that's made for me, it looks like, you know. But at the same time, I don't want to totally shut it down until we get a look at it, right? Like, I want to give it a shot. I want to give it a fair shake. If the monetization's healthy, if the gameplay and the boss fights are as engaging as they, they kind of seem like they're engaging. I don't know if he's doing a lot of mechanics or just kind of hitting the thing that's closest to him, but there's potential for some interesting mechanical and strategic plays, right? Timing stuff like, oh, he does three swings and then he does a big AOE or, you know, then he jumps to the bottom of the screen or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what it would be, but... Those sorts of things could make it pretty fun to actually fight raid bosses in the game. Because they showed that on Ixia raid boss. Like, what does that mean? Conquest, dungeons, raids, co-op, and PvP. I feel like this is a game that might be a few years late, which has always been Blizzard's trend. They always make games late, except Hearthstone actually was like the only game they've ever made early. Uh, Hearthstone came out and it was like really the first big digital CG, CCG, right? They, they actually got ahead of the curve on Hearthstone and then everybody else copied them with Hearthstone. Most Blizzard games come out late and refine the model. They don't try to create a new model. So, you know, that's worked in some cases and it certainly failed in others like with Heroes of the Storm. It was just too late to the MOBA genre and it just never quite took off i actually think heroes is, is probably the best moba in a lot of ways but just came in late didn't have enough time to disrupt 
is this going to be a failed example of an evolution of like Clash Royale or similar sorts of games? I actually played one of these recently, a Clash Royale clone. It was Transformers. It was on the Apple App Store thing, uh, Apple, whatever the, the game subscription, Apple Arcade, I think. It was like a Transformers uh, one. It was exactly the same. I just love Transformers. I was like, oh, God, I got to check this out. It was fine. <laughs> refine is one word you don't think world of warcraft refined the mmo genre <laughs> i think it absolutely did and it, it it's certainly uh not holding up quite as well these days but it, it really did and overwatch refined the the hero shooter genre as well say what you want about both of them in their current states but i don't think there's any denying that when wow and overwatch showed up they were both incredibly successful and genre defining games And Hearthstone too, honestly, Hearthstone too. So we'll see. I don't, you know, is it going to be that? Is it going to be the better, more accessible, more fun version of all these other incredibly successful games? You know, or is it just going to whiff? I don't know. It looks kind of fun, guys. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> sort of into it a little i i want to be you know my instinct is always to be skeptical of mobile games but it kind of looks fun i don't know <laughs> like the more i look at the game like it kind of just looks fun to th plop some dudes down and start fighting you know like that is <laughs> I'm like sort of into it dude i don't know the action figure thing sort of got me too i just wish the art style was 20 percent less goofy i feel like I feel like I'd be pretty hooked if it was 20, 30% less goofy for me. But that's okay. I can get over that, right? Graphics have, have always been something you can get over with gameplay. But will it be friendly? Oh, even your whole army has a level, I just see. Army level 11.3. That's wild. Army level 11.3. It's like, I guess, your average level. Kind of shows how strong you are. If it's anything like Diablo Immortal, we can expect this game to come out sometime in 2026. This seems way more f uh, polished and further along as far as I'm concerned. This looks... This looks much, much further along. No news yet. I'll, I'll do this later. I want to see if I can get a beta test. I don't know if they'll let me or not. Might be really lo region locked. Of course, there's probably ways around that too, but... I don't know. Let's see if Blizzard hooks me up or not. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pre-register now so we can get your personal info. Yeah, right? Uh, so let me ask you guys this too, I guess. Um, will you be... I mean, let's, let's pull this out for the background of the sake for the video. Do you guys want me to make more content looking at this? Like, do you want me to do a deep dive into the website? Is this something you want me to try to play? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the first answer. It's just a, a definitive no. Nah, yes, nah, nope. Seems like maybe 70, 30, no. Till the release, no. Yeah, I, I don't know if I ever actually stream a game like this because I don't, the whole like vertical view thing really, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Let's watch the trailer one more time to be safe. <laughs> what do we think we're gonna discover? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You know, I, I like trying things out, you know, just like mercenaries. I, I had a lot of doubts going into mercenaries, but we gave it a good shot for a week. See how it went, you know, tried to make some content and quickly identified it really wasn't going to pan out. So if that's what happens here, that's what happens here, right? We'll, we'll, we'll do it, though. I'll probably try a little. It's just to educate people of nothing else, right? Like, that's what I tried to do with mercenaries. If you guys remember, I did that, like, um, mercenaries progression deep dive video. I'm trying to actually remember this myself. Um where I just really dove into what mercenaries progression looked like as a, almost a sort of education for people. Um, yeah, the Mercs progression guide. Will it be too 
expensive or grindy see like i gave you guys a little preview here i talked about how the level progression works ability and equipment progression currencies packs and monetization i thought this was a pretty useful video to give people an expectation for for what to see so i might do the same kind of a compare with like clash royale and break it down and go from there i don't know if there'll be a real rush i don't know about the timeline for release of this game right you don't have to hurry but anyway uh, I'll, I'll edit that together for a video tonight to give people an idea first look if they want to check that out and then uh we'll go from there so let's see let's go back to regular screen we're gonna play some duels this is supposed to be negative five there that's set uh i probably missed some subs during all that because they don't pop up on that screen whoopsie riggedy raw dude thanks for the eight months mortal spork who cares where's beef drasmus i think i missed a lot of those sorry guys we were doing the thing there but um I'll, I'll be honest so i came away from that reveal feeling better about it than i did the mercenaries reveal and mercenaries is in hearthstone and using hearthstone cards so that's something <laughs> like i actually came away feeling better than mercs that's maybe a good sign i don't know uh da, 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 da. how am i feeling about progress of the game the past year or so i feel like it's so different i personally have no idea if i should come back or not you think the game feels different i feel like it actually part of the problem is it feels too much the same <laughs> if there's a problem i don't know i feel like we need some some major disruptive uh gameplay in hearthstone it's like quests have been you know really influential for the past year i don't know maybe you're talking even before quest though <clears throat> uh yeah like new card types that sort of thing yeah i don't know i think this expansion has been revitalizing for a lot of people i think many people feel good about uh good about this version of hearthstone right now minus minus quests maybe all right duels uh somebody said i should try control bran what does that mean exactly i wanted to do mill priest but god dude it just didn't work yeah we can do a control bran what do you play for control bran dino tracking you're thinking i like your recommendations uh tom nipotent by the way thanks for the uh, prime sub four months dino tracking control control Bran. Do do do. Warrior objective with hunter poisonous spell. Doesn't that only work for one time? How do I not? How? I mean. I haven't played, you're kidding me, I haven't played a single class spell from Saviors of Old Doom. You're kidding me. This is getting further along at least, okay. I mean, this definitely seems like the control card, right? Big removal, big armor gain. Uh, we kind of did this deck before, but with Colossals, but I can't say it was like a true control deck, I guess. So you guys are thinking like armor gain, you're thinking like... Just full-on removal. I, I feel like everybody smirks me down in duels lately. I gotta have very good early game reactivity. I don't actually know if that's an example. I just, <laughs> I'm just just grabbing the first cards that make sense to me here. But uh, Ice Blood plus the Hunter spell. I, that doesn't seem to, too exciting to me, to be frank. But we'll, we'll talk about it, maybe. You could do, like, Fires of Zinashari. That seems like sort of a fun win condition get late in a run i mean i don't know there's probably a lot of really bad cards in the the pool though isn't there there's probably a ton of just garbage five mana cards if i had to guess like I, the pirates in particular have been something that's beaten us a lot how do i handle pirates maybe a bear off bear off hard to activate though unfortunately i don't think armor gain beats pirates right you actually have to kill the pirates You can't just out armor pirates all day. We could maybe do like Reno. Could maybe do Reno. 
you get to choose. Indeed, you do get to choose. It feels like you're baking a point in there. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> Feel free to elaborate. Are you okay to lose the hero power for Rokara? Rokara's really good, but I don't know. I mean, do I do like Reno? And Zeph. I don't know if Zeph's that good in duels. Uh, he felt okay yesterday with just a bunch of backstabs, I guess, but... Oh, Reno's banned. Oh, we don't do Reno. That's <laughs> that simple, guys. <laughs> we indeed do not do Reno. Uh, I didn't grab a single Hunter card, by the way. <laughs> uh, it seems wrong. I don't know. It seems like there's going to be something for Hunter that makes sense here. Uh, surely there's a hunter card that is good enough to be played, right? Like tracking we don't need because we have that on hero power. Uh unseal the vault. I totally forgot this was a thing. Explosive trap? Yeah, explosive trap is probably reasonable. Again, I don't know that it's perfectly aligned against pirates though. You know? It's not that great of a pirate card. They just kinda live. That said, I don't know how to beat pirates. It's <laughs> it's like it's not actually that easy at all, even if I'm planning for it. Uh, I don't have to worry about curve too much, right? I feel like my problem right now is I can stay alive for a long time, but I don't actually have any win condition. I don't know if from the depths is worth it, by the way. That seems pretty iffy. I don't have any like big payoffs. Yeah, I'm not I'm not super sold on urchin spines. Uh, and I guess it's pretty nuts with ranker. Some of you said it's good with the objective, but does that does it make the objective all three times poisonous or only once? Does anybody know? All three and well, okay, chat again, you guys. <laughs> So, I asked a question. I said, I said, does it make all three of the objectives poisonous or just once? One person said once. The next person said all three. And the third person said yes. <laughs> Super useful. Very useful. Uh, is Savior's Soldier Adventure worth buying now? Do you hear us be offered duels? It would be an option like the hero power is. Uh, I mean, I think it would still only be worth it if you have fun. You can unlock them normally. So I would say only if you think it's going to be fun to play. Which it is pretty fun to play, actually, still. I enjoyed replaying it to unlock more stuff. Do I need a big win condition? What about, like, Jewel of Mazoth? Like, any, any like, cool death rattles I can run in Warrior? Because, like, death rattle gives me a build around angle... So that's how you spell that reach. Uh, I got bear off, crash, rattle gore too slow. Nah, nothing that exciting, defensive wise. Could maybe do like a mistress, but we're getting armor, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess a Phelan is kind of a free, just single card win condition in a lot of ways, right? Because we can discover that the, you, you discover from anywhere in the deck. So even Phelan, you can find the, the Colossals later. Am I just too all in on? Am I too all in on removal here? I feel like this is the least compelling card in the deck right now. Do I want like a shield slam even? I have all this armor, but no shield slam. Doomsayer actually is the right kind of card against pirates, honestly. Galvangar is a good idea, honestly. Have some lethality based on our armor gain. I like that. Sakasan, we don't want to commit to probably. Moarg is big, but I think that's overkill maybe. 
I like the Galvangar idea. Bran, I don't know what I'd run with Bran that I feel good about. Bran with uh, school teachers really good in standard because of... Man, like, this is almost a cool idea. Like, take a bunch of damage, play a Molten Giant, then armor up a ton, you know? I think seeing Drake's a good idea. That's a little... That's a shield slam, but a little more meaty. I like that pretty well, actually. The taunt has value, right? Yeah, maybe we'll just say Phelan's enough. I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care that much. Let's do it. Let's just not play any pirates, honestly, is my goal. I just get really sick of playing pirates yesterday. <laughs> what's the what's the uh, internet rumble rumble? Is that the word? About the rumble. Arclight rumble. What's the... Uh... What are people saying? I'm sure there's a lot of people who are saying... Garbage mobile game. I hate the art style. I'm done paying attention to this. There are going to be other people who think, Oh my god, that looks really fun. The people who play the game are going to be the ones who have no idea that it exists right now. <laughs> like, the, the target audience has no idea it exists. <laughs> because I think the target audience is, is mobile gamers who aren't paying attention to... Who aren't paying attention to Twitter, like, reveals or whatever. That's my guess. Uh, all right, Death Early seems good to me. This is uh, Soul Fragment Warlock, I guess. Shield Shatter might honestly be pretty legit here. Oh, no, this is Discard Warlock, isn't it? Whoops. I totally remember the dual zero powers. <laughs> totally. People were expecting WoW Mobile. Oh, that would have been like the last thing I would have expected. Yeah. Minefield is pretty legit removal here. <laughs> we have this age old question though, guys. Am I coining Zephyrus? I've done this so many times and felt bad about it, but I think I'm going to do it again. I feel like this is going to snowball too hard if I don't. I feel like I can play Guard the City next turn. I think I will inevitably still lose the board and then use Minefield as recovery. But this 3-2, you know, just potentially trades so well. I don't want to lose the ability to trade into Murlocs here. A lot of articles saying it's going to be WoW on mobile. I mean, I think they said it's a Warcraft mobile game. Like, set in the mobile... They didn't say a World of Warcraft mobile game, you know? I don't... The implication to me was not ever to expect... Uh, Anything other than a mobile game. Oh, Zephyrus coin Hungry Crab might have actually, yeah, on turn two. That's a good idea. I forgot about Hungry Crab. I like that. Uh, we'll probably just fill the turn with Heavy Plate here in anticipation for the Shield Shatter. Because again, I'm sure we'll fall behind a little bit. Oh my. How do I kill that? I have poisonous spells. Might be a good way to kill that. Uh, Rokara's probably a little early still. Let's go Brawl. Have you played here just to buy some time? I mean, this very much feels like a, a, a game I could bleed them out, right? Like, I just remove everything, they run out of stuff, and I'm alive. I think that'll be the game plan here, typically. This might be a good Ranker. Oh, boy. Use Ranker here, Brawl on that board, right? Because that's gross. Uh, Grapnel is actually also really good against that big dude. So let's take that Grapnel for now. Yeah, this is a fine wrinkle. I don't, I don't want to greet it. I have, I have more removal available. We're up to 39 health. <laughs> it's pretty good. We might use this if there's a couple big burlocks, you know. Uh, figure out the other dude later if need be. Because this is kind of a release valve later too. Only one big murloc is actually the most awkward style of board here for me. Uh, can just maybe Frozen Buckler through this since it's going to hit me. I kind of save a lot of that life anyway. 
Yeah, and then we probably grapple next turn once there's more threat out. Or brawl if it gets big enough, right? We'll just see. But this kind of turns this into like three damage effectively, which is really not too hard to tank. My fiance says hello. Well, hello, the company man's fiance. What's up? They go three minions, grapnel gets awkward. Could go shield shatter grapnel here, but that feels like a big commitment, doesn't it? I mean, I do gain a billion armor. Well, I mean, they lose some because War Leader dies, but still a lot of armor. Drake here could just hit the big guy. Um, I mean, actually, this is probably just the brawl, isn't it? Like, this is a pretty good brawl board. If the big things live, again, we probably just deal with them next turn. Maybe we take Rokara here. Rokara actually gets us lethal setups. These are so big. So yeah, let's take Rokara for next turn. Let's brawl here. Let's just hope the small guys win. That's fine. It's a reasonable hope. It's a 50-50. And if not, we have enough life to tank a hit or two. Uh, okay. That's probably my least favorite result. Because the other guy buffed the hand. And this was also really big. But it's okay. Again, this is fine. We can always use this to clean out the rest. And, and, and isolate this to the big guys, basically, right? Okay. Actually, maybe just use Minefield in this case. Urchin Spines is fun. Urchin Spines, Shield Shatter clears. Urchin Spines, Minefield probably clears, right? Uh, does it work the way I think it does? Does anyone know? Like, uh, can a minion be hit twice or does it die and then it can't be... It can't be retargeted. I don't know if it's simultaneous or not. We're gonna learn some science here. We're gonna learn some science. Can it hit this again or does it die? So far, so good. Yeah, that could have just been a coincidence. I don't know. That we, I don't know, I don't. The animation didn't really suggest that it, it couldn't be targeted again because it was still kind of hanging on board, but the, you know, sequencing certainly suggested. I'm not sure still. <laughs> I still don't know. Uh, okay, this is a good shield shatter. Rewarded for science, yeah. Oh, true, it only did go off four times. Maybe that is the indication then. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Since it only went off four times, that might indeed just be the indicator that it didn't go off again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. That probably was the scientific result. I don't think we hit here, right? Because now they may not even be able to play their big dude. I don't know how big that dude got, but I might just be able to kill them. Because uh, I have, you know, if that dude's a 13-13, for instance. Oh, he's not that big yet. Okay. He used to scale a lot faster, didn't he? I recall that now. Scout is weak. Seer is weak. Okay. Sure, sure. I think Bash Drake here is totally fine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit. This sets up lethal on board next turn. I mean, I guess they- oh, no, they heal with that guy, though. No, that's not right. They kill this with that guy and heal. I forgot he had lifesteal. It's probably not right. It doesn't matter. We're gonna win, but... I don't think that was worthwhile. He heals enough that it's kind of not really doing much. Oh, <laughs> no, it really was totally sunken, by the way. That's so sad. I feel really bad. So I can hit for seven, but it doesn't it doesn't do anything. So this is fine. Yeah, we legitimately just bled them out. That's crazy. I have 56 health in the first game of duels, dude. That's fun. So this is always a lethal. I mean, a, a removal, I should say. Gigafin! That's fun. Perfect timing, buddy. Cool. Why is my deck tracker not up? Oh, because I had to restart my PC. I just realized. Let's get that rolling. Whoopsie. 
forgot. That was actually a really fun game. I that that's something I've needed in duels. Just absolutely shutting my opponent down. I haven't seen that in a while. It's really good. Oh god, guys. I mean, rocket backpacks is generally pretty good, but honestly, we don't have that many minions. It's really good with Barov. Uh you know, it's like we have a few minions, obviously. We're gonna get more. It's kind of decent with Colossals. Book of Wonders is like pulling me, you know, like Book of Wonders is like uh it's 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 calling out to me. Oh, I want Book of Wonders. Oh, but I mean, it's definitely the least consistent result. I feel like I kind of need a good duels run, guys. I'm sorry. I've been I've been losing a lot because we've been making wacky stuff. I got I think I got to take rockets for for consistency here. We're going to get more minions inevitably. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Excuse me, dude. Whoa. OK, these aren't minions. <laughs> these aren't really minions. This is a really good control package either. I don't I don't necessarily need outriders. I actually think Narlax is probably the pick. Um, him having rush is actually fine. He still gets to attack when he comes up. So. I'm OK with this. They're kind of controlly, right? Dream cards and stuff are good. It's fine. With our health gain, we should have enough time to sort of wait. I disappointed so many of you with Book of Wonders. I sort of apologize, but not really. Don't have dragon, please. Don't have dragon, please. This pair is not that good against dragons, right? Is this something I need to like play for recovery? Maybe. I feel like it was really good last time. Okay. This is fine. You don't literally have any dredge right now. Oh, I guess our hero power. Yeah, that's fine. That, that, that solves this. I forgot. Ooh. Okay, that's scary. Armor does nothing against that. Uh. Okay. Probably gonna want like an early fail in here and then discover some colossals to swarm them. Cause I don't beat that ever, with armor. Vacation at Universal Studios. Wow, that sounds fun. Oh, I forgot Zeph is dead. Oh my god, I got three Narlaxes. Why didn't you guys say anything when it was time? <laughs> god dang it, dude. I, I, I picked these. And I didn't see one person in chat. There were a few of you in hindsight. I see you now. But I'm going to say there was... <laughs> There wasn't one of you who said a word to me. Not a single person said a single word to me. Okay. Yeah, we, we can't fix it quite readily is the nice thing, I think. This could also break stuff, but of course we're already here, so. Oh, it's got Rush! God! I forgot it had Rush. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Uh, Okay. So we're in a great spot. Perfectly executed plays thus far. Kind of didn't matter, it looks like. As always, Hearthstone washes out. We've seen it a hundred times. We'll see it a hundred more. Hearthstone cures all ales. I think if you click fast enough, you'll, uh, you'll be able to attack. Now, I need nightmares here. I want to be able to go face, right? I need nightmare. I need damage output so I can end this game. Ripping the plague for the quest. Okay, sure. Ooh. I'm like really sore from like tennis yesterday. Oh my god, Zeph active, dude. Let's go. Well, maybe. Colossals. <laughs> Thank god he is. Uh, let's go for... Let's tempo this. Uh, I think an on-curve threat is actually fine because like a high main or something. Uh, is Doomhammer 
better. Doomhammer is just 16 damage. Do I have any synergies for this? Not Nightmare. <sighs> Rokara is actually a counter synergy. I might take the high man. It's pretty annoying to deal with. And it has a rush. It's good too. Okay. Nightmares are good. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need lethality, so that's perfect. Okay. Gotta play some cards. I'm gonna run out of stuff, man. I'm at 10. This gives me two more next turn. Or did these just... Easy, you are safe now. Uh, Midas. Nuts, by the way. Oh, my God. Might just go Grapnel Guard here. Just to kill that, get it out of the way. Get another body on board. Okay, this actually doesn't have rush. Why doesn't it have rush? Dormant minions keep their enchantments now. I don't understand. I don't know why it doesn't have rush. Think, Bram, think. I absolutely did play it. What do you mean? It was the only minion played that turn. This turn? No, it doesn't have it just this turn. What? That's not a condition of the... It's each minion... The first minion you play each turn has rush. It doesn't have rush this turn. It just has rush. It's a, it's a permanent keyword applied to the minion. We know this because we've like... Stolen stuff from our opponent turns later and it still has rush. Dormant used or they updated dormant to keep enchantments. Played minion. You wrote played minion in all capital letters as if I didn't play this minion. What a strangely silly thing to write. I chose the word silly instead of stupid, even though I really mean stupid, by the way. Uh, 8k. Uh, I mean, bear off here softens my board, but lets me push 8, which is pretty good. Actually, 12, which is pretty good. Think, Bram, Although it gives the opponent potentially an easy clear if they can just kill bear off. That doesn't that doesn't feel right. I don't think. I mean, just Rokara hit them. Is that worth it? The math is weird. The problem. Rokara, like, give their stuff Nightmare is kind of a weird win condition as well. I might just go for the Bash here, but I lose some damage. Rush minion with high mains, pretty clean. Drake is pretty clean, too. Drake? Drake Bash is sort of efficient. Just a little time pressure. I lose one damage if I use the bash here, but I keep a minion alive, right? I think that's worth it. Oh, Maida coming out now is annoying. I didn't think about that. That's a big heal, honestly. It's a big heal. They're like in fatigue almost. They've drawn a million cards. I like the idea of using Rokara Nightmare to kill them. I find that just so amusing for some reason. <laughs> like nightmaring their minion, you know? and Rokaring it into their face. Um, it may not be better than just Nightmare my own stuff, but it's very fun. Oh, that might be game. That might be game. Krabatoa. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, actually, since Krabatoa can attack. It's actually face damage, yeah. Yeah. Do I minefield first to maybe soften this up? I mean, this is just... Urchin Spine's Minefield is also really good again, we know. That's three mana, though. I can't play anything with it, you know? Like, I don't have a good play with it. Can't go high main. Yeah, for now, let's just do this. I hate that this is still alive. I, have, You know, it's not my favorite play ever or anything. We just leave that up. That's fine. Presumably, we're getting this weapon back anyway, so.
I noticed with the, the Fane Delin. Fane Delin. It had the sleep effect during the opponent's turn, even when it showed it had rush. So it was most likely a bug. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I had a good answer for you. Alas, I do not. So we can clear these, hit for four or two. Maybe just dump a Glug as like a big threat. Maybe they can't answer the Glug somehow. We can hit them for 10, but they heal it up. Ugh, we're just not, you know, we're just not getting good answers here. Bear off rush is also a thing. Maybe just finish with like a high main. I don't hate that, honestly. I don't know how many big boards they're going to get again, but they're probably going to get a Mita again. We know that. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Follow my lead. I guess we use this since we have Rokara, right? Ugh, I just don't, I just don't see myself getting 25. And as soon as they finish Cyrella, they're obviously going to have it. You know, it's coming. But maybe I can, like, put a big board out the turn they play the Zyrella. <laughs> wow. That was big. Plated beetle just chilling there, huh? <laughs> That's funny. Aralax number three. Another nightmare could be pretty legit, though. I don't hate that. Uh, Rokara hit here, maybe just kill that, right? With a 2-2 two -two is fine. Play the, the Narlax with it. No. Who we know will not have Rush. Unstoppable. 16. Like, you can see the green border around him when he gets summoned, I think, for like a half a second, and then it just goes away. Like, he loses it. So it's clearly the dormant that's making him lose it, but I don't think it should. It, it you know, we know you can have rush coming out of dormant because guards have it. Oh, did it ping me when I attacked? Yeah, because it, it was a mech that was attacking. That's pretty funny. I like that. That's cool. Oh, this is so gross, dude. They're getting so much armor. Oh, they're also just done with Zyrella. Oh God, dude. This was a really clutch hit for them as a colossal. If I had another Nightmare, I could hit for 9 here. Really do not want that to die. These Sarah Awakens, man, are just utter garbage. Oh, if I heal them 8, can I win the game? I don't see how. I have no way to, like, interact with their deck. They're going to play Zyrella, so this would be the turn I want to make threats, but I just don't have any. You know, I don't have any good threat. What did I pick up? What, I picked a brawl? Oh, no, I don't pick anymore. I, I don't have my hero power. Uh, all right, we're going to try this again. I'm curious how this works here. Like, will it will it hit the immune or not multiple times? Like, oh, my God, it did. Okay, but now. Okay, <laughs> that did not go how I thought it would go. <laughs> we're going to be honest. That did not go how I expected. I'll be frank. <laughs> that was less than ideal. Oh, man. That wasn't perfect. <laughs> Let's be honest here. It wasn't the dream. So they just play Zyrella and then they're guaranteed to have Shard next turn. And I'm not winning, right? I only have... Uh, I can't even use Nightmare on this minion. I have no way to interact with the Zyrella. Can, can I hit them with enough for Zyrella? I can hit them for 11. Um, but they're at 20 something. 25. Yeah, buff that. Buff that. Make it big. Make it really big. Make it giganto. I can't ever buff that enough, right? I'm just dead. If I'd gotten the nightmares, man, we had an out, dude. Really sad. We had a cool out if I'd gotten. I mean, honestly, this doesn't even let me go face, though, so it doesn't even really do any extra damage. It's just 11. It's really a fun play, but it's not a good play. It's just too good.
They would have had to buff it by 12. <laughs> I don't think that was happening. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough game, dude. The the free healing off the uh, the dude. You can see it was pretty close to mattering. That eight was a big deal. Pretty big change. That's a tough game, though. That's, you know, anybody with that sort of inevitable not damage-based win condition is going to be hard for me to interact with. Princess? No, we don't have a lot of death rattles. Fair off, it's obviously not a good one. I think Fangs is, is fine for us. Good removal, good survivability. That certainly fits the game plan. Uh, okay, we like guard the city pretty well, but... Uh, Brute is tough for us. We have like Rokara. He's just really expensive. These are nice cheap removal, but not playing to backpacks. This is certainly the thing that plays best to backpacks, but I think the card quality is, is dramatically lower. I'd say this is probably fine, right? Just some lackeys, some, some defense. This thing's fine, I guess. I don't know. Not great, but it's okay. Yeah, so by my take, I, I still think uh, Nerelak should have Rush. It's not that big a deal. It's not obviously not that important. Doesn't really matter that much, but... Uh, Dormant Minions now keep things like that. You know, they keep... Uh, they keep any sort of buff or... Like hand buffs, you know, they keep hand buffs. They don't, like, resummon fresh. So... I think you should keep it. Oh, this actually activates Zeph already. Let's go. I love it. <laughs> Zeph is good to go, dude. <laughs> Two in hand early. Can't go wrong. That was my plan all along. Now I just discover Zeph. I I feel like I need to use Zeph more impactfully. I don't know. I've gotten a backstab and a Savannah High Mean. Neither of which felt remotely useful. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> Thing seems good against Rogue. Lance is fine. Two, three, three. Seems like a deck that could have some pretty big damage output, which is something we're probably fairly good at countering. But I gotta be careful for breakpoints, because we just, you know. We don't wanna die too early, too quick, so. Don't wanna hold on this. Wanna find some more armor again. I know I just tossed some, but obviously for a reason. Oh my. Uh how scared of that am I? Do I bash that? I think I bash that, yeah. Seems pretty scary. Doesn't ruin my curve necessarily. Let's just get rid of that guy. Very spooky. Uh, it's so overwhelming to think about getting back at Hearthstone you haven't played in a while. I know, right? It's uh, I think it's unfortunate how how tough it is to get back when you know there's like four expansions you have to catch up with. It's like the the cost seems extreme. So much of it's like really tough to catch up. Uh yeah. Let's take the buckler. I'm a little bit worried about life here. I'm gonna be taking a bit of a downturn with this Narlex, so. Nah. Dino tracking is low-key busted. It does feel very good, yeah. Trust Tracking's a good card, and this is just a free one every turn. Okay. Are we gonna need Brawl release valve soon? Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe. Wish I got a cheap minion here. I, I need to use my rush stuff. Kind of feel like I have to fangs this. How much am I at? 25? So I can actually fangs here, right? I'm less worried about card I'm more worried about pressure. Like, I don't want them using this to follow up a pirate board again. So I fangs here. I think I dream this just for some tempo. It's obviously not the most exciting dream target, but I don't think there will be that many that are. And it, this just keeps me alive a little longer. Sarah Awaken seems very good. Okay, we like that. <laughs> X marks the spot. Backpack? 
Vortex doesn't apply an aura like Vandar's hero power. Aura like Vandar's hero power. Hover any minute of the turn after it's played. I, I, I don't know exactly what you mean, but we'll take a look. Mm, okay, Awakens is fine here. Let's just get more armor gain. Well, maybe a shield shatter is pretty nice again for another reload. Because I have a little bit of armor gain here. Maybe it's a trap. We have the brawl, but that's not that good against a lot of board shapes. This is fine. I need to play a minion, but... So I, I think what you're saying is that this only applies rush for a single turn, but that's not what it says, if that's true. Um... I guess you could argue has versus like gains is maybe an indicator that the wording implies one turn. That's a pretty shaky logic though. Like gains rush might imply a longer permanence than has rush is what I'm saying, right? Um, okay. Phelan is pretty good for trading here. Just do I commit the Frozen Buckler or not? I think I can. I can get more armor later, right? We're going on a dangerous voyage. The results of my leadership. This theoretically, you know, they're not going to want to attack. They're going to want to hit this. We'll see. Bear off is a clear. Indeed, he is, much like Phelan is a clear, but he's very, very excessive. No. I agree the wording implies differently. The actual interaction doesn't work as it should. Yeah, I, I feel like it absolutely... That, that, take a Gabu saying exactly what I'm saying is... I, we've had instances in the past where we've stolen our opponent's minion that got Rush from backpacks, and it still has Rush. I'm like 97% certain we've seen that before. So that made me think, man, am I just playing a Brute to trade? That's so bad. This hand is just bad though. Ranker Lance is bad. Narilax is bad. I think that's the play, but it is bad. Oh my God, these are awful picks. I can't even shield shatter. God, these are awful picks. Just awful. Can I get away with just a weapon Maybe this turn? It's, it's like I'm only spending... I guess I can play a Narlax. Maybe that's okay. Oh, I just sort of hate it, though. I sort of hate it. I need a good lackey here. Oh, I can't even use that, dude. <laughs> Maybe next turn I can. <laughs> Dang it, dude. This laggy sucks. I mean, I'm at 21. I'm not, I'm not worried, but I also don't feel safe. I feel like they've probably collected a bunch of eviscerates and, and garrotes and, you know, wicked stabs and stuff. I don't, I don't feel good at 21 by any stretch. Um, yeah, that's that. Cold blood, for instance, is another thing. Gross. Would you like he's pretty cool on this with a value trade, I guess, but let's see. What do I take? I have to kill these two, although this is the grossest guy. Leviathan here is just not as good. I'll take this just to try to stabilize next turn. I mean, I guess I can use this now as well with Shield Shatter. That's pretty dang good, I guess. Never mind, that's the play. Don't have to play the brute now. I need more mana. All right, nightmare's fun. Could like brute the nightmare the brute for uh, like additional taunt value, right? Any pirates left here? I need to roll this witchy lackey brute into like a Moarg uh, enforcer or whatever. What are they called? Moarg? I don't know what they're called. Moarg? Forge Fiend. I never remember the names of those Moargs. Uh, shield block's good. Would you rather go shield block Drake in this case? 
I don't know. I really want to be playing the Brute sooner rather than later. Maybe just take this for next turn. I think 14 with the Taunt's fine. 14 with the Taunt seems okay. We're still gonna lackey, so... I've never even seen this guy before. Oh my god. I mean, I think in the reveal season, he is... Those shoulders, dude. He's been working out. I think we want to keep the taunt so we evolve here, right? Let's hit a Moarg! Okay. Not a Moarg, but are we looking to get any counter lethal opportunities here? Uh, we got 9, 12, and 5. It's 17 and 4. It's 21, 23 we're looking at right now. It's not quite. We have 17 here. Zephyrus would be lethal. Oh my god. I'm not dead, right? Okay, no. Good god, that was scary. Oh, Behemoth is insane! That's a heal 8! Uh, I could actually even make it heal 12 if I want. Um, god, I hope I didn't miss any lethals. I got so excited about the... I don't think so. Z log is only four damage, right? So, do I make it heal twelve? I think so, right? Oh my god! I don't even have to use the thing. I wish I had two minions, though, man. I make it heal. Oh, okay. They don't care. I think I think healing twelve is the play, just to be uber safe, because we obviously are gonna win the board. We're obviously gonna win the long game, so yeah. I think I think heal twelve is what I would have done. Oh my goodness, I have never actually seen this in my life. I've I've never seen this card in my life. Uh, whenever a neutral minion dies on your turn, gain one mana crystal for that turn only. That sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds just terrible. Um, do -do -do. What happened to your deck experiments? Uh, I just stopped calling them deck experiments. I get this question a lot. I, I just still do them. We just don't call them deck experiments. I just post them as decks now. But that's what every deck video I do is. Like the Disrupt Rogue is the same as, uh, you know, me trying to make a fun deck. I just call them... I call them deck experiments. I just don't call them that anymore. They're just decks. You know? The name was just too long to put in a title is legitimately the reason. It was just too long to put in a title. It took up so much space. Um, What happened to Deck Doctor, though? That was Firebat. <laughs> That's a different person. I, you guys are making me sassy today. You're making me, making me answer with sassy answers. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be. Um, I had Deck Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to back to duels yeah we're actually literally back now but yeah i i mean i appreciate you liking the experiments but i i just that's what they are right i just i literally just stopped calling them the experiments but 75 or 80 percent of the deck videos i post are basically what used to be called deck experiments to, to I me mean, to legitimately answer your question I'm trying to stall because I don't want any of these cards. <laughs> I'm trying to answer questions and stall. Ugh. So anyway, I, I'm sorry if I got a little sassy there. I didn't mean to. Um, but that that's your answer, Tab Tab. They're still there. I, I, I hoped that it was... I think the reason I feel frustrated by that question is that I hoped it was more obvious than it is. I just, you know, it's been probably three years since I posted a video called the Deck Experiment, but I've been doing them the whole time. It's just, you know, they just get individually titled instead of called Deck Experiment. So, I hope that's a satisfying answer. Maybe they feel different to you for some reason. I don't know why they would. I think perhaps I used to include more of the deck building, so maybe it feels different in that regard. Um... I just cut out, maybe I did cut out more of the deck building. I don't know. Maybe they do feel different. I have to think about what they feel like or look like back in the day. I feel like I had already stopped doing that for a while, though. But, you know, you can get that on VODs, too. If you want Tab Tab, you should, um, here, I'm going to link you to my VOD channel. 
Because if you just watch the stream VODs, you'll see me building decks, right? Um, so I don't know. Here, here's an example. Like, go here, check out this channel. You'll get the full deck creation process, if that's what you're looking for. If that's the itch you're trying to scratch. Scratch. Uh, Toomey thinks of the 27 months. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, I don't I, I don't know what to take. We have like no neutral minions, so it's most madness seems totally utterly garbage. I mean, there, there's something cool because it doesn't say friendly minions, right? So like clearing our opponent's boards could theoretically give me more mana to spend if they have neutral minions. So it's like, you know, they, they play four neutral minions. I wipe the board. I get four mana back. Endurance training. I mean, I have this guy. I have this guy. We could theoretically draft more, but it sure doesn't feel worth it for two minions. I, I And this is just not very good for us. I, I like the idea that theoretically we could get big stuff for three mana and then discover it, but that just takes forever. I, I think it's got to be this. It's just really weird. I mean, this is not the pair that we were looking for. Um... I mean, these are technically neutral minions. Uh, Freezing Trap is fine for us, I think. I don't need this. I don't need this. I mean, Teacher's Pet's pretty good. Not neutral. This is a neutral minion, but Wolpertinger is very bad. Panthar is useless because we have a non-active hero power. So I, I think it's this, but my god. I don't know. This is just wild. The problem with Elixir of Vigor, right, is if I ever play a minion that's not good, I'm poisoning my deck. You know? Like, I don't want... Well, it breaks Zephyrus, number one, but that's not that big a concern. It's more about poisoning the deck. It just it makes the deck much weaker on average, I think. Because very few... Like, even a Phelan. I don't actually want more Phelans in my deck. That's not that useful, and I, I rely on that a lot, especially with my hero power, right? We have a lot of choice, so poisoning the deck, I think, hurts more than average. This is dude paladin, right? So maybe ranker's pretty good. That's the dude hero power, right? Like, forgotten all the duels hero powers. Goggles and phase shifting. The, are the dudes? They're, they're um, not... They're, they're paladin cards, right? They're not neutral cards. Narlax has felt bad this entire time, but <laughs> I'm going to take him anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess we got one of these. Maybe we can take the Zeph. Nothing else looks that good. Okay. I really want this to die before I find that freezing trap. I guess we can always control that, can't we? Oh my god, we got the second Narlax already. We are pros, dude. We keep hitting these Narlaxes for Zap ASAP. That's really cool. All right, that's going to be pretty good in case they buff these guys. That might be nice. Wicker bow, bro, bro, bro. It's his name, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Lance looks pretty okay here, actually, right? We can just hit that. I I'm certainly don't mind the healing right now. I'm actually pretty happy to kill off the... Well, I guess we don't want to kill off the scientists yet, though, is the thing. Uh... So I maybe take that back. This is not exactly the freezing trap target we're looking for, right? Uh, maybe that's okay, though. Um, maybe that's okay. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it maybe it's not okay. Maybe it's a trap, says Bran. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh again, dude, these these torments, man. Yeah, whatever. I'm not that worried about it. Oh I get mana back! I forgot! Oh, I have to guard the cities, guys. Zeph is not active. I forgot I get mana back. That's delightful. Just a little time pressure. Yeah. Doesn't help me here, but it's delightful anyway. 
So all the strategy traps really doing, and if any meaningfulness at least, is, is thinning out the deck a little bit, which, you know, maybe gives me one better option later on a hero power. Double guard. I need guard the... Okay, yes, exactly, guys. Thank you. Do I actually take this now? Probably still, yeah. I think we have the best Zephyrus here. I think that's probably just a dream target, honestly. Burns a card, if nothing else. In my folly, I have so chaos. We play in a four drop here. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I don't have that many good targets anyway, and it's it's a uh, nice. Oh, okay, interesting. Nice to just get it out, hit a divine shield off or something, right? Alrighty, looking okay. Zeph is active again. We are this this hero power saving Zeph is really cool by the way. Very fun. Shadow Madness here. Anything else is like really good against this. Bash pretty good. Brute's really great next turn. Maybe I take the brute for next turn. Doesn't mean I can't use my weapon this turn, I guess. Could just play guard the city on Nixie and Drake though this turn. That's fine. Fine with that. Oh, I forgot I'm getting mana back too. Oh my god, dude. Oh, fun! I got it, dude. This dude keeping track of this mana is gonna be a pain. I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I can't keep track of this, man. It's it's. Oh, oh my god! The first burn sucked. The next two were amazing. These freaking manas, dude. Uh. Okay, Alex, my face? Are you for real? Does Zephyr give me any lethal outs, man? Uh, Rokar, it seems like the best card here, right? Uh, six, nine, eleven. Uh, Bloodlust would be another nine. I think that's only twenty. Any like Wind Fury with Nightmare? Can I coax Zeph to give me Wind Fury with Nightmare? Be 16 plus 7. It's only 23 Pink still. Pink. That doesn't feel good enough. Right? Doesn't feel quite good enough. Uh, okay. History. I think we gotta wait a turn. Second one of these absolutely should not matter, right? So it's all good. I wonder if it's ever better to hit for five there, actually. Just the three damage, right? You lose a lackey, but you gain three damage and I'm trying to end the game. That's a good question. I don't know. Tricking Zephyrus into giving me Wind Fury might also just be an issue, right? Like, I don't know how... I don't know how to... Like, we'd have to probably land at, like, two mana to convince him to give me Wind Fury. Man, it feels like my opponent has, like, played zero cards. What is stuck in their goggles spot? Right? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> sure. Is it too late? Uh... What are we looking at here? Oh, I really didn't want to have to calculate this. I mean, Zeph now with um, Bloodlust here looks pretty insane. It's nine. Winfrey would only be eight anyway. Seven, ten, twelve. Uh, but that's really only two. Two is four, six, and three. Yeah, I could use Zeph for weapon removal. Is that lethal? That's a good point. 10, 15. Still not lethal, though. But might be the right play, anyway. Maybe it gives me a uh, Harrison. Ooze would be cheaper. Um, I guess Avenging Wrath is pretty nuts. Is it lethal, though? Did Zeph know? He can't read the weapon. 
I don't think it's still lethal, right? This is four and s four is eight and three is eleven. Yeah, it's not. It's still not lethal. It's okay. It's only added two, so we were one off. Uh, okay. I mean, I have bash and hero power even over the top here. A lot of removal. I think we'll be fine. Just. Still pretty, I mean, Avenging Wrath was a cool option, you know, like it was a sneaky, smart option. I think Zeph just assumed those were lethal, so he would never offer weapon removal, right? Because he doesn't know the effect on the weapon. He can't read text. So he just assumed it was lethal, which makes sense. I can't be mad at Zeph there. He's doing what he can. It was still a good option, you know, still a good option. Here for a good time. Uh, none of this matters. I have 87 million mana, maybe. Yeah, we could have tried to push it down to two, I guess. Like, played a bash first, maybe, and then pushed it to two. But I, I don't know that it would have been in, ultimately that much better, actually. Because we still wouldn't have had a lethal, right? Uh, I don't think, anyway. Especially if I bashed first, we would have lost... We would have lost damage, and then... I, I think we would have ended up in almost the same spot. Honestly. Okay, uh, staff seems to fit our game plan. These are also probably neutral minions, right? So even though I won't remember how that works and I won't ever take advantage of that fact, <laughs> it's nice to imagine. <laughs> All right, neutral minions. Yeah, this is good. More secrets too. Yeah, okay. I'll never... <laughs> Never once take advantage of the mana, but it's good just in case I stumble into it, right? Just in case. Bran versus Willow. I didn't want my inner conflict to. The Zaph knows a minion has taunt. He does know taunt. Yeah, he can read keywords. He can't read like advanced texts. So he can read like, you know, taunt, lifesteal, that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know if he care about lifesteal often, but he might. But, you know, base keywords. I, I don't know if it's only classic keywords. I don't think he gets updated, but Ooh, that seems very, very spooky. Oh, boy. I need plays. Uh, this is a decent curve, actually. Yeah. We have Brawl as sort of a reset if I can just kind of keep up, you know, if I can just manage for a turn or two. And just keep up, right? Oh, God. At least they're not playing from over here yet. Oh, never mind. Scratch that. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I have to hit this. I can't get two mana, though, unfortunately. But it softens it up for next turn. Could try to keep it alive into the pack tactics, but I don't, I don't know. Is this even the right card? I took the like tempo card, but it still feels pretty bad, I feel like. So this might be two mana next turn, right? If I can trade these in this way, because they're both neutral minions, right? So I can go to five for Brawl. May not be worth a Brawl quite yet, but that's the theory anyway. Maybe just go for Phelan. Uh, I don't need bear off now, but I think I'm gonna need a bear off for this matchup. So let's do that. Uh, I think we'll just go fail in here. It's fine Can actually trade in the one one and also play a pack tactics. Is that worth it? Kind of feels like the one one trades a little bit wasted like you don't get a lot of value out of the one one. Oh, I, I can't that's a neutral man. I can't anyway. Oh my god I'm so I'm so genius I'm such a genius, Mr. Skillman. How was how was your trip? I have this uh, sudden urge to poke you, and I don't know why. We're going on a dangerous <laughs> sudden urge. Give me that mana. High fives. I was being sarcastic. I'm not actually a genius. I was being stupid. Just to clarify, I feel like it's important that you know that. What time? It's it's 1:32. When will I be done? It's 8.39. 9 o'clock, probably. 
I need to concentrate right now. Can you leave me alone? I don't know. Like, in, in about two hours, probably. Mrs. Gilbin driving me crazy today. So, yeah. Maybe it's a trap. You're coming back? Oh, great. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, Let's see. I'll have no extra mana, so... Let's say guard the city, I guess. Kind of the most survival for later. I, I think this is important to play. No need to, like, sneak this. My board wasn't that interesting anyway. Just take the clear. Address the big board. I am, like, out of cards. I know I got a lot of low value stuff early, but... Uh, it's, you know, I'd rather be out of cards with this hero power than a regular hero power, to be fair, but I still feel like I am very weak. There's a lot of, like, two-part hits in this deck that matter. Like, you know, kind of syncing up two plays at once. That'd be a good grapnel turn. Fangs, these aren't neutral. Spines, it's like good later, but I think this is more important. I, I don't know, this is a pretty bum turn here, unfortunately. We're gonna need a Brawl reset, but I don't, the, my issue is I don't really have a lot of card draw. I'm relying almost exclusively on just random value generation. I don't have anything that draws cards. Zeph can, shield block, I guess, is a kind of two for one. That would be nice. Yeah, so a lot of stuff like Shield Shadow, you know, it's stranded unless I have its partner. And I think that's a bit of an issue. Brawl okay. here, probably necessary. It's not a home run, but I think it's okay. Oh, Ranker might be good. Yeah, not really, huh? No. I mean, I think Ranker for later makes some sense, but I guess this is a Brawl for now. Gonna get extra mana back, so I might fangs if a thing lives. If I get enough. I think two have to die. Was there three? Yeah, there's three, so I was gonna Yeah, let's go ahead. Tidy it up. Dream eh, these seem like the worst to me. I needed like Ysera Awakens or a minion to stretch this value a little. Seems like the two worst options. I mean, to be fair, they are taking a lot of damage, so Nightmare gets interesting, but I just don't have that push. I need, like, something to, to actually utilize there. Uh, Fatigue's not really a win condition, so Dream there sucks. Mad Scientist uh, hits a freezing trap. That's, that's a thing. Could, like, Ranker the 5-4 later, maybe. Bash here is sort of the Pink same deal. Pink. Oh, this turns bad. Mad Scientist Nightmare is kind of a fun idea. Doesn't really do anything though, does it? No, not really. Oh, this is bad. We're in trouble, dude. Think, Brown. Think. We are in trouble. Ash just isn't good enough, right? I, I kind of do, like, want to dream that guy. Just a little time pressure. But I also want to bash that guy, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of in a mix, because this makes them take damage, but I think we hold the dream for a scarier moment. I, I don't think I dream this, because it's just too many cards. Just try to buy a turn here. I don't even know what I need. Staff of Scales, Shield Shatters, probably not good enough. Those are good for Ranker, at least. Okay. That's nice. That's good. Oh, scary damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's getting worse. Oh, what is my play? Staff of Scales, please. Please. Oh my god, what is this? God, it's the worst. Oh. So bad. See you, Mr. Gilman. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Why is this the only cards I'm getting, dude? Why is this the only cards I'm getting? Dreaming the War Leader doesn't really do much, right? So let's just ignore that for now. Freezing Trap here saves four. 
at a minimum. God. Crazy. Wow. Just keeps coming. Oh yeah, attack with that first. Oh no, they, they pivoted, they figured it out. Or did they? Maybe not. Oh my god! Oh yeah, I saved seven, nice. They do get more draw, of course. Maybe that was their plan. I, it's gotta be something insane, guys. Rokara. Oh, I mean, okay, it's something, yeah, it's something. Hero power here is just not good enough, though. No force on Azeroth can stop me! Unstoppable! <sighs> I don't ever hear a face, do I? Um. So I could technically deal 8 next turn, 10. Do I have any draws that deal 3 damage? I mean, what else am I going to do, right? They buff again. Oh, yeah, Zeph's not an out. Yeah, that's not an out, guys. I have to have Nerelax and. If they, I need them to buff, but I need to be able to survive the hit. Can I do both, right? I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, that's getting buffed. I don't think so. I need to gain an armor card then. I have lethal here if I can get an armor card off the top. I need an armor card because I can only take seven. Oh, God. Wait, can I ping anything? No. No. How does it work? Do they die or does it tie? Does anyone know how it works? Is it a tie? Hmm. I die first? Ah, uh, there's nothing to ping. I, I could play for Lance, I guess, in that case. There's no outs with Livewire, though, right? Something like a Brawl, maybe? I'm just gonna see what happens. I think you guys are right. I think I die, but I'm I'm very curious. This isn't enough, and it's right. It's it's only eight, and I can't I can't get anything off this and and do the thing. All right, well let's just see what happens. It's kind of fun, regardless. If I'd gotten any, yeah, I died. Okay, <laughs> this is fun. If I'd gotten a shield block, a heavy plate, I think even maybe guard. No, guard the city wouldn't have been enough. Or a frozen buckler. I had some outs. I had some outs. Uh, Bubba's pretty cool with Rush and their neutral minions, so that's pretty crazy with Mulch Madness, right? It's cool. I like that. Oh my god, dude. These are just innervates, guys. <laughs> Each one's an innervate. It's even better. It deals one damage. Nah, I don't I don't want that stuff, no. Well, that was kind of a fun, fun game anyway. It was really close, right? To be to be in that spot where it's almost winnable there, just a better draw wins us the game. That's pretty cool. Why not dream the win for you guy? Because I might have had to play around a taunt. If I have a taunt, I can't win. I'm well, saving it for the final hit. What is Duels MMR? Duels MMR is a system by which you gain points as you win games and duels and then you have points uh okay narrow i know that what is yours oh you should have you should have wrote that <laughs> i knew what you meant i'm just being sassy uh i don't know 6500 6700 something like that i don't know 6300 somewhere in there How does Rakara feel in the deck? Um, I don't know. She's given us like some potential wins, which has been nice. But at the same time, as you identify, like overriding the hero power has also felt bad. Like that last game, right? Like she both simultaneously um, gave us an opportunity to win, but also then kind of stole that opportunity right back because we couldn't gain the armor we needed. But of course, we wouldn't have had a winning position without her. So 
Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, what, what's, pick your poison, I guess. Shield chatter is a little hard for us to use without more armor. Let's just take that for now. Seems like a deck that's going to have bigger stuff as opposed to wider stuff. So Fang seems appropriate here. Freezing Trap might also be pretty good in that case, too. Bubba's pretty nuts. Yeah, let's take a Bubba. Gonna go for a big like two hit turn with Bubba. Minions are good. These are not neutral minions, though. They're actually dream minions. I don't know what they're, they're kind of like hunter minions, but not, not, not actually, right? I think they have a different frame. Well, another mad scientist is actually pretty legit, yeah. Thins the deck a little bit. I'm playing for a bit of tempo, yeah. We'll go ahead and kill it off now as well, I think. Recycling isn't inherently problematic for us, right? It's no big deal. Okay, it's not really what I'm looking for. I think we want... I'd rather have a dream, maybe, against a big thing than ASR Awakens. So I can trade in Scientist and play Bubba next turn if I want to. What did I get, by the way? Didn't even look. Freezing, okay. <laughs> What was the core of this deck? Uh, just like control, hard control. Just a million control cards, honestly. Uh, Zeph needs a guard the city, but these other cards suck, so. Oh, and another Nerelax. It's gonna take a while, maybe. Uh, but these just aren't very good. I don't think they're gonna matter in this matchup. Uh, Fangs. It's fine, but I could trade Scientist and Bubba. And go for like a super turn. The problem is I don't really have a lot to do with the mana post Bubba, right? Like it just doesn't really do a lot. You know what I mean? So let's just wait for Bubba next turn. I just don't have a lot. You know, like you know, yeah, I gain. Well, I might have I might have left the one ones on board actually mostly. Well, I guess I can't. They all they all would have traded in, and I still would have had to trade in a, another minion. So yeah, I just wouldn't have had any way to follow up the mana. That's cool. So we're like winning the board. We're kind of zooming here a little bit. It's weird. Oh my, that's a good freezing trap denial. Where's that ranker I tossed away, by the way? <laughs> when I said they won't go wide? I remember. <laughs> Pepperidge Farms remembers. Okay. Smart to leave that for last. Another Goru! Oh my god, that's sick! I'm not even gonna be mad when I lose this. That's sick. That's actually just really cool. Um, I mean, this is a removal. Let's take some value, I think. I need to generate some value, honestly. Uh, This is a weird math. Because I'm gonna end up using the Bubba to kill this, aren't I, maybe? Could perhaps go for a Livewire Lance and a Lackey. <laughs> No, uh, I mean, I only only Kobold Lackey does the job, right? Like, are these actually neutral? Yeah, I have mana, so yeah. It's like... Like, how bad does that feel? It feels so bad, but hitting this also feels bad. I mean, it's a value trade. I guess it doesn't feel that bad. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It's fine. We need um, evolving, actually, would have been the high roll, I think. But we'll play this, keep its health up. That's fine. I think evolving would have been good. Turn this into a fresh 7-drop usually is nice. That's a cool turn to ramp a bunch. I just don't have to pay off, you know? I needed, like, a black scale brute in hand or something that, that paid it off a lot. I need to draw... I don't know, failing, honestly. God, dude, this is gross. I have so much guard, so much mana. There's no way I'm keeping up here. I'm so dead. There's zero chance. This game is very over. It's just, there's just no cards that keep me up here. This does get me one step closer to, to Zav. To whatever end, I don't know. My face taking this, yeah. Kinda have to see what I get. 
Goblin Lackey is just so useless, dude. It's so bad. I mean, just... Complete garbage hands. I, I don't know how to win this, dude. I got 53 life to go. I got a freaking endless army of druid mana. I, I just, there's no way. I'm just not keeping up here. Zero chance. We just, uh, we need more like top end, honestly. We, oh, these are four fours. That's so sick. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Are they ramping or drawing? Drawing, yeah, that makes sense. Keep the pressure up here. I like that. What card even pulls me into this game? Maybe like a Phelan so that I get some value in the deck. Oh, this activates Zeph. Nice. Okay. Is it time for that? I mean, I got a four mana Zeph I'm looking at. If I do that, it's not great. I think it's still the move, but. I want to play Zeph into something a little better, probably a little more reactive. Or... Uh, Laughing Sister, great. That's gonna definitely keep up with the 10 insane druid cards in hand and 20 mana per turn. I know it. <laughs> Could he use Goblin to have a clean trade to keep a minion on board? Yeah, but what good is a 1-1 one -one on board, right? When I could later have a Goblin Lackey that makes a really impactful rush play. What, what, what's the 1-1 one -one gonna do, right? Or as saving rush for later on something could be really important. If I ever play like two minions in a turn or summon something randomly. Did they just mask of mimicry the Onyxia? Oh, good God. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, is there anything Zephyrus can do to like interact here or just any 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 Zephyrus play that's meaningful like silences or hand disruption or uh, I think we're just so dead five mana like I could BGH this or something but there's just more coming right like what <laughs> to what end? I, I think we're so just... And this is not even a Hearthstone game. We're playing it out like it is, but it's not. It's not actually a Hearthstone game. Like a Brawl would be pretty good still, I guess. Honestly. I, I don't know how many's up there, though. It looked like a lot. I don't know if that just showed anything or if it was actually that many, but it looked like about 20 cards. I know they don't have 20 cards in hand, so it can't be that many, but it sure looked like a lot. Phelan is something. I could maybe like a Gigafin, uh, you know. Um, Zephyrus have Shadow Word Ruin in it, guys? Anybody remember? I think he did for a while, right? I don't know if he does anymore, though. You say no. Somebody says yes. Shadow Word Ruin will still work, right? Because it's uh, it's not targeted. I don't know. It's probably not the turn, but... Yeah, Ruin, okay. Draxus could be the value we need, but I'm just going to die now, so... Okay. How many more of those do we need? <laughs> I need five more of those. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Five more Shadow Word Ruins. I like how they're going face a lot. That's something you don't always see people do, right? Sometimes people are a little scared to go face, I think. Gigafin! 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 Gigafin. That's not Gigafin. I mean, this is just so useless, dude. <laughs> it's just so bad. 
<laughs> oh, dude. How did the sec even get to three wins, dude? Ruin doesn't work. Uh, yeah, it, so uh, immune is still so confusing. I know. It, uh, no, anything non-targeted works on immune. Immune doesn't mean can't die. It just means can't be targeted or damaged. Um, they can still die to stuff. Like, you know, same thing like deadly shots. That sort of thing can still clear. Twisting others, you know. As long as you're not targeting, it works fine. I mean, obviously, this is not going to be enough to win the game. I The problem is I need to kill all the, the whelps before I do this to clear the 8-8s eight and can't. I, I think I'm just stalling for a Gigafin only ever, right? That's just the only play that makes any sense. A little time pressure. Brawl, I guess. Staff of Scales isn't even that good because... There's six of them, which means the whelps die, and then you still don't have enough to kill an Ixia. Oh my god, dude. Three Gorus! This guy's my hero, honestly. I don't even care if I lose. Three Gorus is the greatest thing I've ever seen. They're five fives by default. Why can't I find a brawl? Honestly. Fourteen, twenty-four, thirty. Oh, this usually kills me, but technically I'm alive, right? Technically. <sighs> okay. Brawl, dude. I I'd take a grapnel, right? I'd figure it out. I'd try to urchin spines minefield grapnel. Yeah, that'd be fine. Uh. I don't think we can win anyway, of course. It won't matter, but, you know, I at least want to give it a go. Bear off would be kind of, well, not that good. I'd have to rip a minefield urchin spies just for Onyxia, but that'd be something at least. I don't know. Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> Nelly's not it, guys. How did I end up with all this garbage in my deck? Honestly. Honestly, I don't understand. Oh crap, I could give this rush and get two pirates, but that's never enough. It doesn't matter <laughs> what are two one mana pirates going to do, right? That's not relevant. Okay. I don't like, like adding insult to injury, man. Really? I got some shadow spells, maybe, right? What? What, 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 what? what is this, man? What is this, man? I'm still dead, aren't I? I'm still just dead on board. You're kidding me. Still, still dead, dude. Ah, uh, okay. Are we doing another duels run? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This one was pretty long, unfortunately, despite... Well, not that long. I guess we did do that chat at the beginning. Um, Let's see. Let me look at my schedule real quick for videos. Yeah, we can do kind of whatever we want, I guess. Yeah, we can do another duels run. I want to get a good duels run then for sure. But I got to take a pee break. I'll be right back. Give me 30 seconds. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Regis peed run? Wow. That's amazing. When is deadline for tenor words or less custom cards? Uh the, no official deadline, but you gotta you got a while. It'll probably be a week or two before I look at, even look at them, so. Uh you got some time. Alright, let's think here. Could do a Murloc Warlock. Seems like a lot of people are doing that. Mech Paladin. We've kind of done that, I think. Druid. Well, I do want to play the new choose one druid card. Um. I think choose one druid card people like a lot. Uh, anything cool in Vandar? Let's drive. Still haven't really played that much Vandar, so it's crazy. Uh, nothing too exciting. We'd probably end up doing promote. Any good thing here that synergizes with new stuff? Like, no new secrets, really. 
Gambit and Rogue. I mean, you can cheese out Gambit now. Hmm. There is that four mana card that can that can cheese out Gambit. Wow. You could easily play this on turn four or earlier. Huh. What about that, guys? Do we like that? You could do stuff here too with Mill Priest as well. But I don't know, copies aren't that good. I kind of like it, dude. I think we might do this. This is pretty cheesy. I don't think it's going to be good. We, I, I told myself I was going to build a good deck, but, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> life happens. <laughs> uh, you know, fun things happen. So Swift Scale Trickster with Spy Master's Gambit, right? We can play this uh, as early as turn three. We can also put other big spells into like smoke screen to make sure that we're paying this off and then probably run like big death rattles, right? Um, we could run, it doesn't necessarily have to be big death rattles because theoretically like just high attack value minions could be good. You know, I, I used to have the dream of Maligos of this list, but uh, Maligos is banned now, I believe. I think we want to go sort of middle of the road so that we're not overcommitted, right? That's kind of a neat idea. I don't want to be too overcommitted. Yeah, we could run the three drop that discovers a Naga, yeah, or, or draws a Naga, yeah. To tutor it more reliably, sure, I like that. So stuff that's, I don't know, like, Kind of a mix, right? Like some big stuff, but some life gain too, perhaps. So like Kartat and Moarg sort of thing. So that we've got some recovery if we sort of whiff. I can play things that are still maybe keeping me alive sometimes. But still, you know, threatening as well. Some big threatening stuff. Owl. Owl with stealth is kind of crazy, but if they're hitting face anyway, right? It probably doesn't matter too much. Deathwing's kind of fun, but I don't think I want to run too many dragons. I don't want a bunch of high-cost stuff. I, I think we need more mid-game, you know? Maybe a Sludge Belcher, even. It doesn't have to be super greedy, right? I think if we make it too greedy, we're going to regret it. Maybe a Piloted Shredder, even. We could, I guess we could lean into dragons a little bit and try to hit dragon treasures and have Deathwing, but a lot of these just aren't very good and Rogue just doesn't have a lot of dragons, right? So. Yeah, I think, I think again, this card like Snowfall, I think is, did I take Promote? Is that the right thing to have taken? I guess that's fine, yeah. I don't know, man. We got these big minions. Now I'm sort of wishing I hadn't taken promote. I forgot I picked promote. <laughs> it's fine. We can give Wind Fury to stealth stuff. It's probably the best hero power in general, but that does encourage me to play uh, small stuff. And in fact, small stuff that makes minions in hand is probably particularly good because I can use... Where is this guy? I can use the small stuff that makes minions in hand to kind of keep up with tempo early, utilize this hero power, and then we still have cards to pay off the gambit in hand, right? Like, I think that's actually kind of interesting. So any other any other cards like Pharaoh Cat that make us things in hand to pay off, but don't sacrifice tempo and still enable me to utilize the hero power reliably. So things that discover minions or otherwise. Not spells in essence. Things that turn into minions in hand. So these, this can be a minion, not always we can be. This is a minion, this is a minion. 
School teacher, kind of the opposite, actually. School teacher, we wouldn't want to pull from from the spell. Connaissance is really good. I I agree. I think you're right. Any other cards that put stuff in hand? Yeah, I don't know. There's <laughs> Rogue doesn't exactly excel in that world, do they? Uh, I'm not seeing a lot personally. I think a uh, Lillian's still probably a good card. Um, I don't want. I don't need. You know, I don't need every card to be Death Rattle. We've got what? Uh, one, two, three, four. Probably need more than four still, though. Let's take some early game Death Rattle too. Like, um. This is kind of a neat idea, isn't it? It's sort of fun off of uh, smoke screen. You ever do like an Anka? I don't think so. Maybe like a plated beetle. Just again, a little bit more survivability. That said, cultist. These aren't as threatening to be sure, but still relevant, I think. Probably also want a scabs. In general, a very valuable card. Maybe maybe one more good one more good medium-sized death rattle, right? Got a few big payoff ones. This Molarg is making me hesitate because and so is the card tut. These aren't really that good to hit off of off of smoke screen. You know? They don't like summon stuff. They don't do stuff. But I don't. I don't want to go like full in damage either. I want bodies. I want. I want value. If I go like Nerubians, these are hard to activate. So I need. A, I need things that are both defensive and maybe summon minions, which is not super common. So like Sludge Belcher, kind of an example. Burning Blade Acolyte, I guess, is kind of an example. Maybe that's sort of the Kartot replacement. Because I want I want a board off smoke screen, right? I don't just want I just don't want minions. Maybe like a Plague Proto Drake. Maybe I can keep both. It's pretty expensive. Suspect? Hmm. Yeah, that's not my favorite. The random summon's pretty unreliable. This looks okay, but man, I still don't... I don't know. Do I have enough spells for Crush Claw? I have Prep. Reconnaissance? Not really, man. Ooh. Ugh. I mean, I'll get more. I need a Shadow Step too, though, right? Yeah, okay. This is a big deck, dude. This is greedy. I don't like scabs. I also have, like, no... Well, I have smoke screen for card draw, I guess. I think I need one more cheap spell. Maybe just this. Dredge is also really good to help find the, the pop-off guy, right? So, yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't hate this. We got some early stuff for promote. That's gonna be really good in some games. Just getting Wind Furies and Taunts. Got the big pop off spells. Got uh... yeah. Let's try it. I don't know. Not what I was planning to do. I wanted to make a. I wanted to make a good deck. <laughs> it's like I was convinced I needed to make a good deck, and instead we made another meme. The call of the memes is just too strong for me to resist. I can't, I can't turn them down, you know? I'm trying to figure out this duels world. Like, I, ever since the expansion came out, like, we had an insane first week of duels. I had multiple 12 win runs. We just stomped everybody. And now, since then, since I started to play more standard and lost track of the meta, I haven't really gotten it back. But uh, this is obviously perfect. Uh, minus coin, I guess. Uh, maybe I keep a Lillian. It's not even that bad here. Maybe I look for some early game. Or just bigger stuff. Uh, this is uh, literally it's not the biggest payoff, right? Oh, we don't need both these. Guess actually, 
one may be better than the other depending on how many minions I have in hand. If all my good stuff's in deck, I might go smoke screen, right? Because you get like a 5A, get some three drops. It's definitely possible that it just feels better. Um. Could do both as well. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, we'll just do both. I don't know. <laughs> that also works. Yeah, so like we could smoke screen first, get all of them in hand, and then gambit after, right? That's kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> we've, we've discovered our plan. I am doing nothing for these early turns, but it, it seems like we'll have some time against Druid, maybe. And if not, hopefully we have enough like taunt and recovery, you know, we'll hit a play to beetle, a cultist, an acolyte taunt, that sort of thing, maybe. <laughs> this hand really sums up this deck, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we got the memes. Are they gonna work? I don't know, but man, this is like the perfect uh the perfect support piece for Swift Scale here. It's all we need, baby. Turn four is gonna be fun. So now I need to dodge like Proto Drake. I think Acolyte's actually the card I probably want most in the deck for smoke screen, right? So hopefully we don't draw Acolyte. I don't want to draw any of my good big death rattles specifically. Coin would have made this hand even better, I guess, but. Why is the hero power promote? What hero power would you pick? Why would I want to discount stuff in hand that I'm cheating out anyway, right? That's be a waste of two mana. This at least gives me wind fury lethal potentials, right? Okay, that's actually pretty slow in the scheme of things. Yeah, scout is actually the, the right answer, Baxter. I, I agree with you. The reason we have promote is because I forgot that I picked it. I was just looking at... <laughs> It's just looking at treasures and forgot I had it. We actually pivoted the deck to play towards it. I, I think this actually will make sense though in a lot of games. We're not gonna wanna give up all of our early turns not doing anything and this helps us support these early minions really nicely. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, you kinda tilt that light up a little. Yeah, just a little towards you. Perfect, that should do. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent work. Oh, oh god, I almost missed the play. Uh, okay, so yeah, we don't want Gambit here. We're not that far behind. So let's take Smoke Screen. Hopefully we hit Acolyte. We'll Shadow Step. Make sure to get the order right here. Acolyte, nice. Cultist is wasted, but okay, I'll take it. Oh, Lillian's nice, yes! Nice! Oh! Chill Nazdor Moon. Oh, that's a turn four, baby. Let's go. And now I get to do this and summon this entire hand. Of course, I don't actually have space for all that. Uh, but, you know, in theory, <laughs> in theory, we get to do it again. Um, wow. Let's go. Yeah, I, I think I think scouts would have been nice to get extra minions in hand, like just have something to do early and then play towards extra minions. But again, I think this will be okay. Uh, I mean, are they just dead often here? They're gonna clear this, but oh no, not that dead. Solar's insane. Solar with it doubled is nuts. Actually, actually nuts. I mean, the one upside is here, this does give me a pretty good gambit here. I, I guess do I just get the five on the left? I don't know how this works. You guys know how this works? Do I just get random ones? There's six minions in hand. Oh, there's only five minions in hand anyway. Oh no, there's six minions in hand. Yeah, I got them in order. I didn't get Proto Drake, okay. I forgot to promote. Gosh dang it, I forgot to promote. Could have had Wind Fury. I don't know. Uh, 
Yeah, don't don't give this. If it's I can actually still use it if it's one fury, right? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm a genius. Actual Hearthstone genius. <laughs> I did lose one damage, but we'll take it. We'll take it. I was thinking taunt's fine too, so might as well taunt the big guy, right? Actual Hearthstone genius, Regis Kilbin. Winning Hearthstone games. Okay, this is broken. It'll be super inconsistent late in a run, but for now it's broken. Uh, so like Crystal Gem, theoretically, when we have coin, would let me play Trickster on turn two. But here's the thing, right? We're not actually gonna be able to hit that that reliably because we're not always gonna have the big spell in hand. Like sometimes we need to time to get the big spell. So I think we just actually take Tome. Tome keeps me up early, make sure I'm not falling too far behind, just free tempo at the start of the game. And that's gonna be better for us on average, I think. Just stuff. Just stuff to do. A Tome is criminally underrated usually, by the way. Oh my god. I mean, this is overkill, right? Like, it's too much. No, it's too much. It's too much. I think I actually take this. It's not good, honestly. But Mage Scribe's okay to pull off of a card. Uh, Bite Weed's just really hard to use. This is really bad. It's It's got to be here. These all actually suck, though. <laughs> spells kind of wreck our spell deck. Well, we can have extra spells. We're not. I mean, cards wreck our deck, right? Any card that's not one of the combo pieces wrecks the deck. But extra spells don't necessarily hurt any more than extra minions, I think. But if you just draw like this, what difference does it make, dude? <laughs> <laughs> just always draw the combo in your opening hand and it's fine <laughs> who needs anything else yeah so no coin again man i would really love coin GG. Nah, we can still lose. If we don't hit Death Rattles, right? Every card we add that's not a Death Rattle makes this worse and worse. I mean, for the record, it's still four mana draw five. That's not bad. Let's be clear. That's okay. But open the cages in misdirection. All right. Cages might go off if we get a lot of minion summon for sure. <laughs> no coin. Poor unlucky Regis. Yeah, I'm really suffering here, aren't I? Oh, gross. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't exactly need the Eviscerate, so why not? <laughs> might shut down their hero power, might shut down Gibberling support, I don't know. Alright, I guess I'll plagiarize? It doesn't, I don't think it hurts anything, right? Hand space, I guess, theoretically, but I doubt they play like a billion cards, maybe one or two max. Uh, actually, Tempo Crush Claw might just be better here, just to get a body down. Because I don't necessarily always get a lot of bodies here. I certainly never fill the board or anything, so it's not a board space limitation for this side of it. But, uh, having a little reactivity could go a ways. Infestation. I think we see what we hit here, then we kind of decide how we're going to play this. Let's muddy the water. Need to draw Shadow Step and four Death Rattles, right? Oh, Acolyte's so gross. Oh, Gambit again. It's gross, dude. It's so gross. Oh, it's gross. This is a pretty low roll seven drop, but in the scheme of things, I think we're fine. We, we take it, right? Uh, I don't think I need to prep a plagiarize. They're fine. Uh, actually, I can just prep Gambit if I need to. I don't know how they're ever going to react to this board, but theoretically could prep a Gambit next turn. If they if they manage to clear this somehow, I mean they can they can eat the five eight pretty easily. I don't really know where you go from there though. Some flame, some yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm sorry, dude. That's brutal. We don't deserve these mulligans, man. Um. I 
I mean... Looming Presence is probably the best on average, just to increase the odds of finding a Trickster and stuff. You know, play this on three, Trickster on four is fine. It's not maybe the best spell to cheat off the Trickster, but that's okay. Oh, dude, no Death Rattles at all, man. The deck does not understand I want Death Rattles. <sighs> I mean, this is like the Sneaky package, literally called Sneaky, I guess. This is a death rattle technically, but a hard one to utilize for me. This is card draw, which isn't bad, but ugh, these are hard to use. I think prep is good to get in case we don't hit tricksters right. Prep Gambit's still a really good play, so I think I take another prep. And Cloak can buy me a turn too, right? Cloak can buy me a turn. All right. Ooh. Ooh, I got linked to on Twitter. Ooh, this is spicy. All the new video game, all the new game, uh, like concept art and screenshots and stuff. Oh my god, this is going to be actually pretty cool to go through. Wow. Shoot, dude. A lot of press release stuff. Oh, dude, we'll save that for later, but exciting, actually. Yeah, I'm going to keep a prep. We'll toss the rest. Of course, we're just really looking for Trickster. I think prep's worth keeping because if we hit a spell without Trickster, which is actually more likely, it's two to one, right? That way we still have... Okay, well, we, we can double prep it. <laughs> the, 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 of course, the smartest play. Cannibalism. Gross. Uh, I did get coin, which is actually still pretty nice. Plagiarize and Dart Trap. Oh. Let's, let's just go ahead and put Trickster on top here. Uh, oh. Plagiarize again. Yeah, Feral Cat's fine. I can Feral Cat promote. That's pretty good. I'll actually use my hero power for the first time ever. No, we use it on that Nazarma, I guess. What is that? Oh, ooh. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> I heard about that. Somebody mentioned that on Reddit that Ooze is freaking out screens and I see it. Oh my God. So I can go coin prep on six for smoke screen. That's not exactly exciting. Oh dude, that's an insane, that's an insane gambit card, honestly. Wow. Okay. This might be good, honestly. I mean, I don't know. Dude, just farted. He just farted right on screen, guys. It's dirty, dude. Uh, yeah, the top hat's kind of a pain. I mean, I really think I want to kill this. So it's like, but I also want to get double value here for ooze, right? I, I think I got to do ooze. It just doubles the value. Stealth. I mean, do I still hit this to get it ready for next turn or just clear a minion? Um, I guess I just clear a minion. Oh God, it's in the middle. Oh God, what is happening? Ooh, I forgot about cannibalism. I should have, I should have just hit this, I think. I mean, they can always trade up and do the same thing, but. Ooh, chill, bro. I need to hit Gambit actually. This would be such an insane Gambit hand. I need to hit Gambit off the top. I can play it next turn. I can coin to five prep Gambit. That would be a, such a nutty draw, actually. Oh, hit this, hit this, hit this. Oh, actually don't, it has the mind shield. Hit this, hit face. Yeah, well, that wasn't the plan. This thing is killing me, dude. It got, it, it's, it's, it, it's big, it's very large. Shadow steps, garbage. I literally don't have a play. I literally don't have a play. I mean, I can shadow step and ooze, of course, but to, to what end, right? To what end? This is too much mana. I'm just dead on board if I don't kill this. 
Which I can't actually kill, right? I guess I can roll taunt. Um. Wow, uh, this is the deadest dead hand I've ever had. Hmm. Even with coin, it's just so dead. Oh, why wasn't this a small minion, dude? Uh, if I take a taunt here, I need two taunts, right? One taunt's not enough, so it's gotta be two. Double taunt! That's not enough. Good demon, dude. Oh, I should have I should have let it go though, because I wanted to watch the animation again, dude. <laughs> I should have let it spaz out again. It's really fun watching it spaz out. I did want to kind of take a look at this artwork for the new game, guys, real quick. There's a ton of cool stuff on the press center here. Quick diversion again. Uh, well, I don't know, we've seen that. Like, this stuff looked new. Like, I don't know if I've noticed this before. It's like the regions. That's... Why? Oh, here's Stranglethorn. Okay, I see where we're at. Yeah. Westfall, Stormwind. Yeah, okay. I see where we are. Here's what that... Well, we saw those screenshots. Okay. Orgrimmar. Yeah. Oh, here's concept art. Kelth is... A, yeah, dude, that's pretty sick. Or no, that's not. It's Araj the Summoner. These boards look pretty cool. The map designs are probably my favorite. Is this the new mobile game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The map designs look really cool. It looks kind of okay. I like that design, all right. I feel like I like the character designs when they're drawn, but not... I, uh, I like it when they're drawn, but not, like, in-game. In-game, they look, like, a little too plasticky kind of thing, you know? Is it tower defense? Yeah, sort of. It's like a tower defense. Oh, mummy magic is probably the play, right? I mean, goggles is, like, uh, but the problem with goggles is... I don't know. I mean, we have a lot of death rattles, but we're not really trying to play them as the only thing, right? I don't actually want to play the death rattles that much. There will certainly be instances where I play the death rattles, but often I'm trying not to play them. I wonder if goggles is just going to help me keep up better on tempo and, and still help me cheese tricksters and stuff. Even if I do get stranded with like a proto Drake or something, it's six mana. I think I will net more value of goggles on average than mummy magic, right? There's just not that many interesting things for mummy magic. Aren't they supposed to look like plastic though? They are supposed to, but that doesn't mean I like them. <laughs> the design intent is not always represented and matched up to my desire, believe it or not. Uh, I think I like goggles. Magic seemed like the pick early, but we just didn't get offered that many death rattles. And now I think we can play towards goggles a little more. Uh, I like, I like Wanthi, but I think I need more depth. I think this gives me a little more depth. And the three mana spots are pretty good. These are like one mana with goggles, which is pretty dang cheap. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, MW Eggs. What's up? I love you too. Are you trying to? How's it going? 
battlefield will be mine. All right. Yeah, actually, Dredge, uh, we don't need Beetle. I mean, this is actually three mana. That's not bad. Oh, how hard do I hard mole, though? I'm going to hard mole. We want the pop off, right? We want combos. We want to win. We want to win. Okay, we can work with that. Not not ideal for goggles, but certainly okay. <laughs> we like getting minions down in particular early. Ooh, schooling's kind of fun. What did I get here? Wandering Monster's nice, and Snake Trap's nice. Yeah, those are both really good, especially against uh, Battle Stance here with this minion. They might just activate snakes already. Or Wandering, actually. I guess both. Uh, Bicorn's gonna be tough, though. Hard to keep up with an army of patches sometimes. What? Oh, I guess, this, yeah, this is even better when they go face because I get both. Oh my god, I, I don't actually have a way to utilize this brand yet, but man. I'm intrigued. I'm certainly gonna buff it, no question about that. Um, try to keep it alive, right? Uh... Uh, so I leave it stealthed. What was that? I mean, let's. I mean, I, I don't even really have any good cards for Bran in hindsight, right? It's like Pharaoh Cat's okay. Trickster's not really very useful. Ivory's not happening. I think I just attack, right? It's not actually all that good. Not honestly all that useful. I don't love you, but I appreciate our parasocial relationship. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate you too. <laughs> so I get a South Sea deckhand. How exciting. Uh. I mean, am I playing pro I, like what? Th th this hand is so weird. I need some value out of this hand. Gambit? <laughs> I don't have anything in hand for Gambit. That's not any good. <laughs> uh, this draws me the trickster, but to what end, right? Uh, this is on the bottom, I know. I need smoke screen, actually, I guess, is what I really need. Right. This is better than just playing a minion. Yeah, we play all these together next turn, probably, right? Prep Eva is certainly not feeling worth it to me yet. I mean, this whole hand I can dump soon. Did I get any other Naga? I kind of forgot to consider that in our draft. That seems like we probably didn't, but... This is a good prep, actually. Prep Eva is actually. Oh my god, I just drew it naturally. Oh, that kind of killed that. Jeez. Are we happy about that? Or are we sad about that, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, man, I'm really not rolling any discounts for a long time. I, I think I just play these straight up then. I think there's a question here about how I trade, too. I, I just buff the guy that's stuck behind. Yeah, maybe this gets, like, Divine Shield. I'll take a value trade on the, the patches, but otherwise... Poisonous? Leo have a 3-1? This kind of always dies to weapon, right? So I might as well trade it in. Make them at least, like, take a little extra damage. I don't know. I could have value traded that, though. I don't know. It's debatable. Oh, not even weapon. Battle stance. Excuse me. Even easier. Yeah, that's probably fine. Then. Okay, that's a good prep target, too. Let's see. This is straight out pirate rogue. I need to draw a smoke screen off the top right now. Just, just draw the smoke screen. Looming presence. Okay. So do we play swift scale looming presence or do we wait? I think we wait. I just need to get rid of this, so I'm just gonna move through the hand to the left here. Yeah, I guess I play it. I want to get ahead here. Let's muddy the waters. Okay, that's actually really nice. Yeah, this was a big turn. 
You know, it's like, yeah, you don't get a lot, but yeah, I'm not going to sit on that in hand forever waiting to hit a smoke screen. Because by the time I do, I, I'm going to be able to just goggles the smoke screen anyway. So we might as well just take it, right? Just take our opportunity here. Now we got Mothership Hero Power looking pretty good. Solid board as well, which is nice. Like, make them interact with this board. Glory. I'm here for the glory. They're kind of just taking a lot of chip damage too over time, which is nice. Hit, hit. Lillian's pretty good. I think we, I think we do go here. Stealth is cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, so now we can go Proto Drake Hero Power, and then we got Lillian whatever. This is looking okay. I think I maybe start going face, right? Uh, three threes girls though. It kills my, my stupid dude. Uh, man, I really don't have to trade a trade a six two into a three three here, but I'm sort of thinking I might have to. Guess I could try to hit rush on this and see if we land rush. That'd be pretty good. Otherwise, I might have to. Does this just farm me too hard if I don't? Right. If I got Wind Fury, I can hit for 14 and, like, really put them on the back foot. If I got Divine Shield, I could take a value trade. I mean, my instinct is almost always to trade the guy that's got... Or to promote the guy that can attack because of Wind Fury, right? But is that right in this case? Divine Shield and Wind Fury are good. Poisonous, Rush, Taunt, and Stealth are bad. I think I think this is fine. I think this hedges a little more. Let's see either rush or taunt. Poison. This could be good too. Yeah. Okay. They're bodies. That's fine. Yeah, the nine nine here is a big pain for them. They need to think about it because if they don't deal with it, it becomes a lethal threat with Wind Fury immediately, right? Uh, best draw for me is what? Probably still smoke screen. Maybe like a burgle or something would be kind of cool just to get some cards. Oh my god. He attacked and then played the swordfish? I dig it. Thank you. Save me four health. God, dude, they got so many pirates. I feel like they haven't missed a single pirate, man. They might have a hook tusk. I dead if I don't trade here. Man, it sucks. Wind Fury's lethal. See what we draw. Cloak of Shadows would be cool to give me some time. Mimic Pod, Burgle, those would all be good. Might even take a Pharaoh Cat. Ivory might be cool. Yeah, there's some plays. There's some plays. Reconnaissance could work. Yeah, we like reconnaissance. Does it matter that I push this to one? Well, I can make it zero anyway. Yeah. Ring Matron is definitely the best card, no question. Let's see if I hit a lethal. Unintended consequences. No lethal, but pretty good. Now I just have to ask, like, is the ring matron enough to keep me alive, right? We're looking at 10. So like, I don't know, like face attack. 11. I don't I don't think it is. I think I have to trade. Because like two eviscerates, you know, any kind of burst damage, a saucy decad, cold blood, all kinds of problems if I don't if I don't deal with that, right? Oh my god, they're gonna take my big guy. Tanked. I said they might have hooked us. I mean, I can't avoid it at that stage. Maybe I had to go face. I have 10 damage here. If I get, uh, if I get Wind Fury, it's still not lethal, unfortunately. Oh, I think I lose now, dude. Oh my god, I think I'm dead, dude. What is this ever gonna be? I mean that's awesome, but I'm just dead. I can't I can't clear enough stats. 
They have 14. I mean, if it had Rush or something, sure, but it doesn't. <sighs> Can I, like, snipe anything with, with Lillian? Like, snipe the... Kill the 10 10. Like, it doesn't. There's two 10 attack guys on board. Yeah, poisonous, I guess, could do it. Yeah, poisonous, maybe. Taunt ever enough. Poisonous, but what do I hit? I still can't clear enough unless. Unless Lillian snipes the. The eight eight the eight health thing here. I still can't clear this. I have to hit here. Here, here. Still not enough, right? It's just still too much. Gotta kill one of the ten health, because it has fourteen face up. Drake drops on the minion. Yeah, but if I don't kill the Drake, I'm just always dead. I have to be able to summon something that's smaller and snipe the hook tusk. Drake is enough on its own, so... Not killing the Drake because there's something inside of it is not a reasonable concern because the Drake itself is the problem. Uh, okay. Let's take staff, actually. I think we need some value, yeah. We've been a little light on value. That game we ran out of stuff pretty hard. Uh, weapons no good. This is an okay cost for goggles, as is this, but I don't really need the dragons. Hothead and Eviscerate a little bit more reactive, I think. Why is the minion that the beastly beauty transforms into not a beast? Uh, I think, I think beastly is a characteristic of the, of the unit there. You know, someone who is evocative of a beast but is not a beast themselves. They're still a humanoid worgen. So. The characteristics of a beast in spirit, but not a beast. The worgen are humanoids. Okay, mothership for four. Eh, it's still a little too expensive, I think. Exactly. I am a beast, but I'm not a beast. <laughs> you know? If that makes sense. Oh, smoke screen for six. Okay, well. If I can hit stuff, that's good. Ice trap and noble sack. Okay. Ice trap on coin is pretty garbage. One drop's good though to get hero power rolling, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we need prep. Oh yeah, prep would be very nice actually. Yeah, four mana smoke screens, legit. Yeah, we like prep. Your power trade. No need plagiarize yet. That's fine. Thank God I got rush. Noble sack, I doubt is useful, but yeah, you never know. Plagiarize zero power next turn if nothing off the top saves us. We need. Rep, but not this turn. Cloak, no good. Wind Fury is a good roll. Free chip damage here. All right, we're getting there on smoke screen soon, I guess. Do we like Weaponsmith or Hothead better? Probably Weaponsmith, a little bit more reactive. Still three attack on board, but the weapon helps. I guess we still want Trickster off the top. Okay, we can take a trade here, especially if we get um, Divine Shield, but do I just want to play a Wrathy? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we like Mancric here. But let's get Divine Shield! I think I just take the face damage here. We have Noble Sack to protect this on the on the return swing, and then I can just Arathi weapon hit and then also hero power again. It's a pretty good turn five, so. Might be okay. Oh wow. That is insanely good off of special delivery. Oh my god. 
That is like outrageously strong. Oh my god. Uh, is, this a, is, this, is this a problem? Is this something I need to address, right? Like, look at me getting buffs here. Are you serious? Is this how I'm gonna lose? Smokescreen's gonna have to be a freaking clutch. I'm not gonna respect it. Maybe it'll pull out a rushman or something that actually hurts their special delivery, right? Oh god, that just makes, I think I think that might make every minion double. I don't know. Oh god. That might just make every minion double up. I don't know how it works. Sometimes rush updates instantly like that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I was gonna double anyway, so we don't really know. We didn't learn anything here. Play something without rush. I want to see if it doubles up. Wait, why was that coin zero mana? Oh, I guess it got discounted by inspiring presence, huh? Oh, that didn't double. Okay, it didn't double. All right, good to know. Good to know. Do I ever take an Evis turn to kill these? Just go like hothead Evis. It's not bad. Smoke screen. Like, yeah, if I hit the smoke screen, it's great, right? But I don't always hit. I miss a lot of the time. I think I have to respect the Rokaras for a turn. I think they snowball too hard if I don't. Could respect the Shaw, but I don't think he's too scary right off the bat. Next turn, we'll smoke screen. It's fine. Oh, that was a good card to kill. Yeah, that's nice. He lost the lost the battle cry there. That's good. <sighs> Dude, that that mothership turn is just brutal. How do you beat that? Uh, no one has to know about that mistake. How do you beat that, dude? <laughs> no. Woof! Hand buff. Absurdity here now, too. I forgot about special delivery. It's a really cool, really cool one. Uh, I guess I don't have a choice now. We're just kind of falling behind if I don't do this. So we just need to high roll. We just need to giga roll. Beetle? Proto Drake's excellent. Well. Oh, dude. Gambit's actually insane for next turn. As long as I'm not dead. The only problem with Gambit is, is the stealth actually kind of breaks. Like, I, I, I don't have taunt or anything, right? Like, this, for instance, doesn't have taunt. So I might just be dead. I need them to trade in here a little bit so that I feel alive. I mean, I have Cloak of Shadows, right? But then I can't play Gambit with it. I'm stuck. Could maybe give something Rush with my hero power. Oh, that's a clean kill. Good God. Yeah, I'm just gonna die if I spy Master's Gambit. I can't believe how hard that mothership swung this game, dude. It was just oh god, dude, no. Oh god! If I had that, I could have I could have gambited and played cloak. And then I would have just won. need a plan I don't know how to win Gambit again I, I mean maybe if I give the lake guy rush no that won't do it right do I have to just play for a cloak this turn and like I need a plan I didn't ditch class to get second place. figure something out right Too, still too much. Oh wait, I can do this twice though. So I can go to seven, nine. Oh my God. I may actually be the greatest Hearthstone player in the history of the world. I may actually be the greatest 
I might actually be the greatest Hearthstone player in the history of the universe. I mean, this is just a lethal setup, right? Actually, is it? Am I one off? 8, 10, 20? What's he at? I think he's at 22, isn't he? Oh god, if I'm one off, that's gonna be very depressing. Olgra off the top. No, he's at 21! That's enough with hero power! 10, 18, 20, 21. Yeah, if he doesn't gain any life here, I have enough with hero power. Oh my god, dude. It's, it's for real, dude. <laughs> Is this real? Don't gain life, please. I mean, if he does to gain life, I might be able to just trade. I mean, if he does, I might be able to trade down enough, right? Like, I might be able to just deal with the board. Oh, taunt. Taunt beats me, doesn't it? Uh, does taunt beat me? If I get Wind Fury, it doesn't beat me. I'll buff the 8-8, try to hit Wind Fury. <gasps> Is that enough? No, I still need an extra three, right? <gasps> oh, no way! That's enough! Because I can go here, eviscerate. I have board space to activate the combo. Yeah, and I have mana. Yeah, so hit trade, eviscerate. And then I have 16, 18. Yeah. Yeah, I have exactly enough. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, I've never... I don't know why the game is so dark. I have enough. I don't have to hear power. Just to be safe. No reason not to. No reason not to. I think we had enough. But... Dude, <laughs> dude, that is one of the craziest games, dude. A lightning bloom doubled into that crazy board. Stealth, oh my god, dude, that's a Hearthstone game. That's a Hearthstone game. I am so unbelievably lucky. I hope everybody knows when I say I'm really good at the game, I'm saying I'm obscenely lucky. I obviously didn't do anything. I just got the most obscene series of top decks. I got the perfect, the perfect card off Ivory, the perfect card off Olgra, and then the perfect card with Eviscerate. I mean, that is like the craziest sequence I've ever seen. Uh, kind of like Blood Moon. Yeah, it's just sort of easy to dump. On even just one minion's fine. It's like one mana with goggles, right? That's the, that's the sweet spot. That's the sweet spot. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take another eye for you. <laughs> like, uh, you know, she earned her spot. She earned her spot. That is so crazy. Uh, Mr. Tiger Games, by the way, thanks for the sub. And Zale, thanks for the sub, guys. Very nice. Whew. That is a video for sure. If I don't turn this whole di whole run into a video. Oh, that's a good curve, actually. Um, yeah, I think I can dig for even if I don't hit what I need here. Like this is a good opener. Could actually probably dump the beetle and just hero power. It's always risky to do this, right? Because you can clog it up, but... If this gives me the opener anyway... Let's just see. I don't know. Let's keep both. Oh, Cult is a good turn one, too. That's perfect, yeah. We'll play this on one because it's bigger. That helps me fuel hero powers better. Pharaoh Cat fills the curve. That's pretty legit. Plaguebringer Band of Bees? What? Shenanigans and Sudden Betrayal. Gotta remember how these work. <laughs> for the record <laughs> um shenanigans uh okay that's now a banana <laughs> congrats on your mech that's now a banana what does this do oh okay in that case i don't want to play the feral cat yet i do probably want to shadow step the feral cat uh i only have the one naga still is that accurate so I can always draw a trickster here. The trickster's, of course, really good, but at the moment I don't have the payoff. I need smoke screen, actually. Even even Gambit here wouldn't really be all that useful. Oh my god, dude! I did not know this was a thing that could happen. Wow. 
poison mechs. Very cool, actually. Very cool. His icy touch. <sighs> Need to combo this eviscerate and hero power here, but I guess we'll just kill the mech warpers and say that's enough, right? It's kind of good. Feel his icy touch. I don't get fancy, right? I don't get fancy. This goes to one. This can kill it. I mean, I, I want a shadow step, honestly, to activate the crush claw uh, beyond other things, but. Um. Well, I can just replay it immediately. Yeah, that's that's better. I don't know why I'm thinking it won't be able to attack. It'll still be able to attack Reach. It might die to Hero Power, of course, but. Oh no, that seems bad. That's that's another Mech Warper. How do you get a Mech Warper opener that crazy, by the way? And I actually answered it. I'm pretty pretty happy we were able to navigate that safely. That was spooky. Very spooky. Uh, now that said, they're gonna have the sunken guy, right? So they're gonna have. Wait, did they not get the sunken guy off the surveyor? My nuts? I thought they had the sunken guy. Oh, whatever. Ooh, that's a roll too, man. We're flying right now. I guess I'm playing the generous mummy despite the like crazy... Did they not get the sunken guy to refill their hands? Surely they grabbed him, right? Did they play that in the order that I thought? Surveyor came last. Maybe they grabbed a different, better mech, like a mecha shark or something? Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought they were going to play it last turn, but for some reason just chose not to. Okay. I just wanted to know, like, how spooky that gets, you know? <sighs> this mummy, dude. It's like... You know, if that's a mecha shark, you never want to play mummy. But it's like I really want some mana here. <laughs> this may this may punish hard. Um, <laughs> it's like uh, gonna, gonna risk it. I I think I just need good plays, right? Staff or just looming presence for the trickster? Sweet mother of I think I want to play the trickster now and I want a looming presence. I don't know, dude. Staff's so much value, though. No, I probably need staff. We'll just hero power. Staff fills the curve and its value. I'm very nervous about this mummy, but, you know, it... it it gives the mana, but it also gave me a lot of mana, right? If you think about it, 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 you know, it gave me two mana as well. So how much will they punish? I don't know. Mecha Shark was the only thing that really scared me for this. If they just get normal discounts, I think I'm okay. It was if they also got a Mecha Shark where I was very distressed. And thankfully, it doesn't appear that they did. Um, oh, my God. <gasps> this gets smokescreen. That is like the craziest roll I've ever seen. <laughs> that is so nuts, dude. Like, actually, I, I think I play Gambit, though, right? Because the Proto Drakes are insane. I think I just play Gambit. I think I'm happy to trade these off, honestly. We're going to have a monster board. No need to get fancy again. Let's muddy the water. Two eight eights is really nice, dude. Like what on earth, dude? Arcane brilliance into my two combo pieces with the discounted trickster just sitting in hand. Like that is so insane. Oh my god, we are just too good at this game today, man. Oh, that's cool that that still has poisonous. That's really fun. It's really cool. I can actually just kill it with hero power, though. Snap freeze, not bad. Do I have any lethals here? Actually, we have 16, 21, 22, and uh, 4 is 26. Uh, theoretically, a, 
a nice spicy wind fury would be enough here. And I can still hit this one, which is fine, right? It would be 16, 17, and 6, 22, 26, and 6 is 32. Yeah. So if this gets Wind Fury, I have lethal. Uh, if not, I'll trade. Oh, God. How uncharitable. Dude. Dude. This poor guy, dude. <laughs> I have never drawn a harder nut draw in my life than these last two games, dude. <laughs> Duels does not want me to lose right now. Again, Wind Fury this was nice, because if it didn't hit, right, we, we still get the good trade we like, but we have the we still retain the lethal out, which is, is what we're looking for. We want the mix of both. <sighs> um okay. It's pretty bad. I don't hate these. Like, they're kind of in the right mana range. Death Rattle. Shade's kind of fun to get out early. This is a little bit of card draw, but the other two I think are worse. I think I think this is the move. A little bit of value generation on the Delinquent and the other card. I mean, dude, that two-game stretch right there is some of the craziest RNG I've ever had. That is so nuts. <laughs> dude. <laughs> that lightning bloom and then the freaking uh dude just so crazy did we play pants party earlier is that one of the names that's like just a blizzard name that's very common across the board i feel like we played a pants party earlier oh my god we hard mole for big spells did we ever keep shadow stuff for this no we just hard mole right we want smoke screen always yeah, let's just hard mole. I mean, the only downside with keeping this is I do kind of lock it out on my goggles. I just have to hit a big spell. If I don't hit something worth it, then it's just gonna be sitting in hand for a while. At some point, I'll have to decide like, oh, hey, maybe like a three or four mana spell is just gonna be worth it, right? I don't have to hold it forever. So we'll see if we regret this or not. Uh, Pilfer's a good opener. Cages and plagiarize. Plagiarize gives me stuff to do maybe. What? 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 What am I gonna do with this? First I thought this was parlay and I was so confused. And then of course I realized it is not parlay. It is Pilfer. Uh, trade is pretty legit actually for us. Yeah, let's just trade. I'll plagiarize here if I can. Ooh, staff is nuts. Okay, this might give me a good big spell too, right? This is the value that we need. I definitely don't want to wait too long. This guy's very smorky looking. I got to get out soon. Uh, I'm just taking two to four per turn, right? That's gross. Is this, I, I feel like this is the same combo we saw earlier. I feel like this might indeed be the same opponent. Doesn't it seem that way to you guys? Flame. Cannon. Ugh. Ended up being a decent combo activator, honestly, right? In the scheme of things. Uh, Shadow Step. No, Lillian. No, I guess it's Burglar. I just need stuff to do here. I just need stuff to do. <laughs> Dude. It's just for real, man. Rush would be good here. Yeah, stealth might help too. What are these cards? This is the RNG coming back, guys. We're getting, we're getting punished for the last two games, man. <laughs> we got Dino Mancy and Totemic Surge. Oh boy. I have to go soon. I need I need something big here. Uh, the 10 mana mage spell, right? Like amulet or something. Brain free. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I need to empty the hand a little bit, though. That's the problem here. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's not how that works. I can't. I can't. I did you guys see that? I almost did, guys. I can't. The problem is I can't do it the other way because I need these to be discounted, right? I need. I need. Uh, I need them to be cheaper, so it's actually kind of okay. But you almost witnessed a. <laughs> drastic error. <laughs> All right, we need, we need, I'm only gonna get four cards, so I need, I don't know, like Mothership, Proto Drake, Acolyte. Seems like I got literally nothing. 
I got a death head cultist. Okay, well. I guess it's not technically nothing, but it's sure not very exciting. I mean, this is like, I want to dump the hand a little, but I don't have any space. It, you know, I'm not going to get any useful cards, but I need to get goggles rolling. I'm at 27. I still don't know what these are. Open the cage. Oh, 5-2 deckhand is so gross. I mean, this is a pretty good little rip. Uh, this actually is good, too. I'm just dying now, dude. I mean, I can't really play the Maid Scribe. That's kind of pointless. Okay, uh. are they ever gonna run out of gas here, right? Like, that's the issue. I need to get some taunts somehow. I need to get some life gain, like ice barriers. Like, I, I don't know. I need some magic, man. 18 is obviously not enough. Honestly, could give me, like, oh my god, head crack. Just free damage every turn is gross. <laughs> Honestly, it's really good. <laughs> this is really good. Landlord's kind of cool, honestly. Uh, what am I playing with it, though? Flame Cannon, maybe? That's really bad, though. That doesn't help me. Let's just do our thing for now from this hand. I mean, I can't... Do I need to play Dinomancy, actually? Where's their weak point? Magic is not a toy. Oh. I mean, the problem is I'm not really playing Cutlass either because I have the weapon here, right? So I don't, I don't think it'll help. Kill the shallows. I, I think I gotta kill the bigger one. Weirdly, I think it's, I think I just have to. Could try to play for cages, I guess, by leaving it alive for a turn. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I need to swing this game really hard soon, and I don't know how. So I'm going to burn a card. I get whatever this is, which is fine. I'm at seven health. Probably dead. Probably dead. I don't have any count. Oh, I'm dead. Super dead. Yep. Okay, that's a good game. That was, you know, we got the we got the other side of the RNG there, just smorked out. That's totally reasonable and fine. I can't be too upset there. We had two of the craziest games I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> These two absurd games in a row. Absolutely crazy high rolls. Uh, all right. Let's uh, open some packs. Okay, nothing good. So, let's see. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> uh, first time you've seen Arcane Brilliance pop off, right? I know. I might just go, guys. I don't have to do anything today i might just go make a video i gotta go get that new game video prepped up and go from there was thinking about maybe playing some some standard you know This chat highlight settings. First time chat. Uh, yeah, I think I might just go. I think I'm, I'm feeling a little tired, a little hot. 
It's a good good couple duels runs for sure. There is no way that is my first time getting three wins with Vandar. What? I know I didn't play any big Vandar decks, but that cannot be right. Wait, where is the good button? There is no way. There's no way that's true. Was it bugged before? Oh, it was broken. Okay. <laughs> say, dude, there is zero chance. All right, it got fixed. Yeah, okay, that explains it. I was like, first time I ever got four wins with Vandar, man. All right, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop off, guys. It's been a good stream. It's been very fun. Um, good duels today. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll do more standard tomorrow. Um, we'll come back tomorrow. We'll do more standard tomorrow. Oh, God. Loop, loop, loop. We'll do standard tomorrow. Maybe a little duels, but probably more standard tomorrow since we went heavy on duels today. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know. We'll play some new decks. We'll make some stuff. Got Mill Hunter on the list. I got Bran Smuggler Rogue. I got uh, Big Paladin with uh, Maki Roll popping off uh, uh, this guy. I'm really excited about this deck. It's going to be so fun. I want to play uh, this guy with Holy Maki Roll and give him plus 10, plus 10, you know? That sounds really fun. That's on my list. So we, I don't know, we'll do some stuff tomorrow. We'll do some fun stuff. So anyway, let me drop a raid and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good luck out there in the universe. Thanks for hanging out today. Appreciate the bits and subs and follows, kind words, all that great stuff. You guys are indeed the very best. The very best. Thanks for the follows, by the way. We're uh, getting so close. So close to 100,000 followers on Twitch. We're catching up to YouTube, although not really, because YouTube's still growing, but, you know, in theory. So anyway, everybody, love you all. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Mrs. Kilbin. She said goodbye. Uh, love you all. See you out there. Thanks for watching. And until next time, game on.